Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2762 here on Twitch. Going to be continuing our Peasant Militia or Lowborn Crusader playthrough today. Uh, before we get started, get a couple of fun people here in chat and your wonderful support. Thank you all for all that support before we even get started today. Appreciate it very much. off screen support here today before I even done anything yet. Gindy, thanks for 27 months. Robotic Crow, thanks for 75. Race Car Driver, thanks for 78 months. Chetafine, thanks for that gift. And 78 months as well. Lulu P, thanks for that very generous $25 donation. Got you added to that name and game list. Forever name and game list, even. Appreciate that kind message too. And Bokter Drog, thanks for $25 donation as well. Uh, both y'all are added to the forever name and game. Let's load it up. All right, well, here we go. Where are my bros right now? Okay, so here we are in Jadden's Sea. Let's take a look at our map. Uh, so I really like this seed when I first rolled it because I said, oh, it has six harbors. That's great. But as it turns out, it's not. It's got some complications. Let's say that there's no connection to this top area. Via road. So we have to cut through forest or cut through mountain to get to this top area. So this is a closed loop. And then this is a, a loop as well, which isn't all bad. Uh, we're going to be spending a little bit of time, probably uh, 10, 15 days, uh, clearing out this area, uh, possibly down here, uh, over here a little bit. And then we'll head back north, which I plan to, I believe, raid some caravans and supply stuff. I've been debating also angering uh, this faction as it's only three towns. So if we see like a good supply thing happen there, we might. Okay, um, what's going on here in Jadden Sea? Drive off brigands at Guardians Keep Northwest. Need some time to think about that. Okay, first step today is we're going to organize our bros, okay? Well, first off, uh, who's got the injury here? Okay, J Merc is traumatized, less resolve, and initiative 18 resolve. I think traumatized can be cured. I don't remember, though. Uh, we're going to now line up our bros by level. Okay. Level 9 is definitely the highest we currently have. Okay, Amphid's also 9, going on 10. Elusive's going on 10 as well. Going on level 10, awesome. Alright, 7, 8, 6, 4, 8, 8, 6, 8. Alright, 8, 8, 8 here. Level 1, Wilfred, you sly dog. Look at that face. Seven. Okay. Oh no, is level eight as well? Okay, seven. We'll go down to the next row here. Six. Four. Six. Also, see about getting some bros here in Jaden C. All right, we got Kunold here. Let's try him out. What do you got? You're an optimist with a fear of beasts. One star hell, two star melee defense. I think we can do better than that, but let's hire him out. Didn't actually mean to click higher there, but I did. Yeah, that's not good enough. Okay. So we have some decisions to make on the bros. Uh, one thing I've kind of decided here is I'm going to do a semi unilateral uh, pickup of quick hands on people so that I can have um, my two handers in in the backpack. With 16 people, it's like you're falling over yourself a lot. So I think this is going to be pretty smart. All right, let's see. Amphid uh, with no gear on 113 fatigue. 
82 melee skill, 78 health. That's pretty decent. 18 melee defense, okay. Not so convinced Amphid shouldn't be in the back row here. Let's put him back here for a minute. Alright, Elusive has Nimble, 75, 90 health, 109 fatigue. Uh, Elusive's going to be a backliner for sure. Let's grab Elusive's uh, level here. Alright, three's good. Hold on, are you dodge? You are dodge, okay. I'll go four health, three melee attack, and five initiative. We have completed one uh, late game crisis noble war. Yo, Great Rain, thanks so much for that gift. Grishnok, thanks for 59 months. Mr. Caliber, thanks for 26. And Blade X, thanks for 101 months. Monzi, thanks for 10 as well. Thank you. Uh, melee defense affects two things, Colonel Sander. It's basically the, the dice roll that you do versus the enemy's attack. So the higher your number, the better chance you have to dodge. And also, if you um, change your initiation status... Uh, like you're locked into combat the enemy, you try to jump out of their zone of control, you roll melee defense to see if you get away without getting hit. Okay, let's grab quick hands here. I'm going to gear them as I go through here to keep it simple. Alright, you're going to have the... Give you a long axe... Okay, you're nimble, so about 18 is the max I want to have for fatigue. Okay, this one is 5. Okay, let's give you a nasal helmet. Maybe a rusty mail coif. Okay, Warren mail shirt puts him at minus 12, so this would be minus 17. That's definitely adequate. Hover over the nimble here. 42% of any damage to hit points from attacks is cut. So we're, we're saving 58% uh, HP damage on crossbows and things. All right, dubstep's the sergeant. Uh, he's going to remain the sergeant for right now. Probably shouldn't have taken off his gear here. All right, his fatigue's not good, so he's going to be a nimble bro too. Uh, in fact, I'm going to grab Nimble right now. We'll grab Quick Hands later. But Nimble at the moment makes a lot of sense. Can do a very similar setup here. Got Rusty, Male Coif, and... Okay, we can, we can hook him up with a 130 later. We're going to go Nasal Helmet and a 110. I'm also going to grab this level here. We're going to go for Resolve, Melee Skill... Guy's got pretty badass melee defense. Damn. If I could move up the line eventually. How about since we're doing a backup banner here? Um, I go melee defense, attack, and... No, I am going to go here. He's a banner through and through. Okay, he's equipped. Uh, next is PD the Nimble. PD already has Nimble. Uh, 74 melee attack. Uh, we know with Nimble, we're probably going to keep him in the back row. Uh, you can't have some front row Nimble guys, but he's not it. Okay, these are minus 11, huh? Okay, we'll give him a... One of these and this one. So that puts them at minus 18, 44% of attacks. Uh, let's give him a long axe as well. Okay, a range dude. All right, Zealousy has been our tank here. 27 melee defense with no gear on. It's pretty good. Surprisingly, uh, dubstep's even better, but fair enough. All right, so Zealous is going to get the, the heavy gear here. Let's give him the 130. We'll give him the 
230 helm. I'm going to give him a the par. And then I'm going to give him a boar spear. Definitely better weapons out there, but... His job isn't necessarily to do damage. Yo, Great Rain, thanks for all those gifts today, man. Appreciate that. Alright, Rain the Nimble. He is not nimble yet, is he? No, he's not nimble yet. 64 melee attack, 116 fatigue, 22 melee defense. That's pretty good. This guy can be a frontliner. Let's give him a 110 shirt, a 230 helmet. I don't know, is he going to be nimble? I think he is the, he's going to be on the outside line of the, the back here. Let's just give him a 1, 105. We'll give him a added dented nasal helmet. Okay. So when he goes nimble, he'll be good. Let's also give him the bill hook. All right. Casually challenge is a kind of a beast for level six here. Let's go ahead and give him some gears. Oh, wait. Zealous he's getting this footman armor. Hold up. There we go. All right, casually can have the... Let's go 115 here. Let's give him a 140 helm. Okay, he's at 93 right now. And I was having him use this mace, but maybe... Maybe I'll give him the two-handed save here. All right, 83 fatigue's acceptable. All right, Acarius is very tanky. Doesn't have the best fatigue, but 27 melee defense here at level 6 is uh, pretty great. So let's load him up with some gear. He can just be a tanky dude. Does he have shield? He does. Alright, we'll give you a kite shield, I think. Sounds good. Give you the 130 armor, then. 30... Give you a 230 helm, okay, and a spear. Pretty strong lad. Hey, Yukon Wild Ass, thanks for 62 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks, man. All right, Mythic Applesauce, the Fisherman, level 8 here. What do we got going on for perks? Okay, so this guy is a dodge tank, which means we're going to keep him uh, pretty light with Nimble. I bet he can be on the outside line here as well. Okay. okay this is minus 8. This is 12, 11, 11. Okay, so I'm going to give him a... One of these. And then I'm going to give him a... Well, I'm a little light on nimble helmets here. Okay, I see it now. It's 110. Let's give him a 95, actually, and I'll give him this nasal helmet. Oh, I'm waffling right now. Hold on. Oh, I got 150 and 180. Okay. Let's give him the uh, the 180, then. 150. Yeah, 58 uh, fatigue's pretty rough, but he can shield block pretty much continually. Okay, where was I? I was on Mythic Applesauce here. Looking to build up. He's not on Nimble yet, so I suppose it doesn't matter as much. Let's give him this and one of these helms. Okay. And what weapon is Mythic Applesauce going to have? Yes, Mythic has really poor melee skill here. What was I doing on him? I guess I'm building him as a tank. Three tanks for this composition is not so bad. Uh, I see minus 25% melee skill for the pierced arm muscles. So his attack isn't, like, so bad. I'm 
not entirely sure what I want to do with this guy. Let's give him the mace, okay? There we go. Still has good initiative and decent melee defense. I'm going to toss a slightly better armor on him. Let's give him a southern mail shirt. Okay. So these guys are sorted out. All right, extrusive. What's extrusive got going on? Extrusive is becoming a pretty beastly character. Level seven. Uh, the melee attack's not the best, but this fatigue's pretty good and three star as well. Fifteen melee defense, not bad. I'm gonna keep him on the back row for the moment. Let's give him a long axe. Let's give him plated nomad mail. Let's give him this hat. Alright, Dr. Love Wizard's the backup banner. That's true. A backup banner is definitely is going to be a backliner here. Oh, I have a Warbrand right now? Okay. Give you a Warbrand then. Another long axe ain't bad, dude. Let's go. Okay, and now fatigue stuff. Let's give you the 110, and I'm going to give you a smaller helmet. Let's just go for the male coif. All right, Wilfred, look at this smug son of a gun. All right, Wilfred's going to get a pike here. Wilfred's fatigue's kind of bad, but he'll be fatigue neutral for now. We're just going to give him a, a 105 and a stupid hat. How much less fatigue is this? This is 8, this is 10 for 5 more. I think I'd rather have the fatigue right now. Let's give him this hat. 58 fatigue, okay. Okay, Glacia is turning out to be a pretty great attacking character. 3 star melee at 67 here at level 4 already. I think I have not enough frontliners right now is what's going on. Oh yeah, Oh Nose is a good tank. So right now he's got a split nose and he's pretty beat up. All right, Iglesia, I'm going to give you the Sword Lance here. Give you a, a 110 and a stupid hat. Where's my stupid hats at? I guess you'll get this stupid hat. Cool. I think Ono's is going to tank here as well. Let's give him the 180 armor. Let's give him the 230 helm. And then we'll give him... Heater shield. And a... He's got a 65 attack. We'll give him an actual weapon here. What do... Maybe instead of going for a tank on this guy, I can give him the, uh, that, or maybe the Great Axe here. You know what? He can handle the Great Axe. He can. He's got not the best melee attack, but he's got the fatigue to use it. Alright, was Amphid Great Axe before he was? Let's level him up here. I'm also gonna grab... Ooh, I'm not sure now. I think Battle Forge, but I could also grab Quick Hands, which I think I might do first. Alright, you only have 50 right now. I'm going to give you the mace. I'm going to give Amphid the Warbrand. It's a very nice weapon. Give him the 130 here and the 140. Let's grab this level for stats. Good. Good, and I'll take HP, sure. It's not time for Battle Forge yet, so I'm going to go for Quick Hands, and then I'm going to pop a Hooked Blade into his inventory here. Okay, So now he can hit from further away if he needs to.
Basically, I need one more guy that's going to be a frontliner to upgrade here. So you has the best melee defense. Yeah, Dr. Love Wizard, the backup banner, has great melee defense. All right, Reigns Nimble with 22 already. Okay, he's not nimble yet, but he will be soon. Let's give you the bill hook then. Nothing wrong with having a character in the front line that does not have... Uh... Oh, he has quick hands too. Awesome. That that uses a two-hander. You can use two-handers from the front line. That's not a big deal. Okay, and then I'm going to swap over to... Let's give him the Long Bonker. Banner's got to be in the middle here. This should be in the middle, too. All right, I do believe we have uh, more or less sorted out our bros. Looks cool. Is there any gear improvements we can make here on the front line? Uh, definitely. You can get a 110. All right, we done did it. We set up our bros. I'm going to save right now. That was how I wanted to start today. I removed and got rid of all of our equipment so we could do exactly that. Uh, okay, we're at 90 of 135. Oh, somebody should have heater shield instead of kite shield. You take the heater. Okay. J Merc is traumatized, which may or may not get cured. It's tough because J Merc's a good character, but with 18 resolve, going to be very difficult. And also, minus 5 resolve at negative morale checks, he'll break immediately, more or less. Okay, let's take this quest and go kill some stuff. Also, going to have to rest here while our gear repairs. 500, 421, nope. Any nets for sale? No. Here we go. Accept. All right, so that's a fair bit away here. All right. Gives us time to have our gear repair here. That's okay. I won't complain about it. Zealousy suffers a broken nose. Oh, man. That is tough. Alright, let's see here how the gear is doing on the bros. Okay, 72 on the helm there. Okay, frontliner is pretty much repaired. 60 here. I can just replace that with that. Speaking of just replacing, it's a 140 helm. Let's just give him a 130 right now so it's you know comparable. Okay, 72, but repairing. That's fine. See if we can see the garrison. We cannot. I'm gonna camp for one more tool check here. One more tool check here. Okay. Here we go. All right. Uh, it says 12 here. I'm just going to wait. This is likely fortified, so it's uh, it's unlikely they're going to be jumping up here. I could be wrong, though. Got a nice shot. Looks like just some raiders. That's nice. All right, let's sink casually out the side here and then go, whoops. Whoops. 
a little too close there. Can I get to this platform? Oh, hell yeah, I can. All right, now we're loaded up to hit him. I'm jumping in here way too willy-nilly, but here I am. Put the axe here. Okay, right. Onos can now swap out of that to a two-hander. Okay, I think I'm just going to step up here and start uh, start peppering some folks. 50% chance to hit 29, 36. Let's just take this 50. Make him feel real bad. All right, Zealousy is going to go here. Get the old Billy hook right here. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair shot, man. It's a fair shot. Okay. Okay. Guess we're going to be backing up with him, then. The 74 to hit here. I mean, headshot. I'm just going to wait because I can swap somebody in to hit him. Uh, this guy is rightfully bamboozled. Does Mythic Applesauce have a two-hander now? Okay. Um, I'm going to wait. Okay, he's moving up. This guy's already shield blocking, so I'm like not super keen on running in there. But I think that's what we're gonna do. I'll step him the long axe here and then hit, and then this crossbow has a good hit as well. Okay, I probably don't have a shot anymore. I don't. Go here. And here, I guess. Okay, he blocked that one. Good job. All right, I'm going to step up here and hit this guy. There we go. Cut him so good, he'll wish you didn't. Okay, that's tough. He needs some help. Ow. Ooh, he's bleeding out for sure. You know, I think I'm going to step up here. Go. Yep. I'm going to step up here with Great Axe. Oh, never mind. I'm going to release the pupper. Alright, I'm going to go here. I'm going to reap. Oops. Oops, no head. 33, 44, 44. Cut artery. Alright, we're 29 health on this guy. I'm just gonna back up. You did your job, you absorbed a bunch of crossbow stuff. Nice work. Uh, do I lock in here? I'm like not too worried about this side. Honestly, though, maybe I should be a little more concerned. No, let's not take away the uh, Great Axe's spot. Let's go here. Dang, your giddy. Has it been 66 already? Where's that time go? 
Oh yeah, I was gonna swap Bill Hook in, but just ain't it right now. Um, I'll just step down here, make room for somebody else. Let's get in here. I should get all the way in here, because then we're uh, threatening this. 78% chance to hit. Sign me up, dude. That's a noggin boppin'. Coming to wait. Hmm. So hitting the raiders is probably correct, but doesn't it just seem like really nice to hit one of these juicy crossbow guys? So they had to move and reload because this guy was so close. It stopped him from firing. That's good. Okay, I gotta say my crossbows were not as effective as I would have hoped. I think I have to reevaluate my crossbow strategy. Let's just step up here for now. All right, I would say casually is in a little trouble here. Oh, less trouble now that he's bleeding out. I just took the long axe's spot. Or great axe, rather. Please don't cut me so good, thanks. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna puppers. Go. Get him, puppers. Okay, I can rotate in here. 37% chance. Good enough for me. Hmm. Cheesy rice, dude. It's really not much room for me to get in there, huh? Let's just rotate him back here. You can do um, some sort of rotating next round. Uh, I'm going to go around the back because I need to leave a spot open for him. Indeed. Let's see, 33 to hit. I'm not going to use stun on that then. Right, if this guy dies, I can step into the archer, so I'm going to save his turn. Listen here, bud. Pretty rude with those crossbows. Hmm. Oh, he bled out. Okay, gotcha. 31? That's better than nothing. There we go. There we go. That's a head hit. Do I need to rotate anybody here? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got the beeline. Hello, friends. Son of a gun, that lance. 65% chance to hit twice. There we go. Definitely stab this guy, though. His armor's not really <laughs> stab-worthy. Okay. 
There it is. Okay, we got a surround on the those guys there. Very nice. All right, what's going on? This guy's armor is busted. Mega busted. Start working towards this one. He's getting a little spooked, and rightfully so. Probably break his shield with the Great Axe here. Given the choice. Warp, 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 warp. Right, here then. Here we go. It's fair hit, fair hit. All right, no more, no more crossbow shenanigans. All right, here we go. He's surrounded officially. Can no longer flee. Oh, and he dropped his shield ball. That's tough. Let's break his shield just for uh, thematic reasons. There we go. Not bad. Didn't lose anybody. Got ourselves a couple more helms, a couple more males. Nothing too spectacular here. Okay, we got another crossbow. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And more importantly, we finished our quest. Anything set to repair here? I bet there is. Set these to repair that too. And these... Yo, Destruction, thanks for 65 months of support. Thank you, Papa Neat. Thanks for 27 as well. Grichnok, thanks for that very generous $25 donation. I'm uh, going to add you that name and game list right now. I haven't added anybody onto the uh, crew yet today, but it's going to happen. Three new forever name and game list members today. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, Grishnok, you're in there. Oh. Looking back in funny. Okay, no longer has ambush trade routes. That's good. Okay, looks like we have an we have an Alps quest here. Alps quest is a little bit dangerous for sure. Okay, tools are no longer at an absurd price. Let's at least buy these. Uh there's definitely somewhere with a workshop around here as well that I can do that. 18 shield of Val. Where's the spot with the workshop on this map? I think it's the salt area. Goat pins. No. Somewhere's got sheep tools around here. Here it is. Wasser Coog has cheap tool. Well, Alps do raw damage, so this should be of no problem. 1250, not bad, dude. Not bad. Good time to rest up the bros as well. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to camp here. We're just waiting till nighttime. Let's also set up some people with nets here. I guess we have nets on quite a few people. I'll just kind of 
play it by ear. Uh, Hakarius can probably sit this one out. How you doing? 68, 51. Let's have Ono sit this out as well. Okay, Hakan, the Night Owl, is going to get renamed here. Is Hakan going to actually be a ranged character? I think I'm going to try to force it. It's a pretty bad starting range stat, but, you know, he's part of the team for now. Not a bad melee roll. This roll's pretty bad. Let's go ahead and go initiative, I guess. Seeing these other rolls, nothing's um looking too awesome. Alright. Okay, both the crossbows have nets. Good. Here we go. All right, only six here. That's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, first thing I want to do here is tighten up my line. Oh, hello, friends. Wasn't expecting to see you there this soon. Step and hit. Okay, he got really messed up by that. Twenty four to hit here. I don't know about that. I'm going to swap to a net and I'm going to net this guy. Very good. Step back. I can hit both here. 43, 57. Okay, he's pretty messed up too. Hoping to get a kill here. Okay, that's gnarly. Okay, I can't move two and hit, but I can uh, swap him here and then hit. Ooh. I'm going to move down two. I'm going to wake up my bro. Grinnell in here too. Okay, Amphit can move two and hit still. Do this. Oh. Give me the hit, please. I'm going to create a little uh, unit here. Let's uh, extend this unit. Dog doesn't seem too bad here. Let's go ahead and release a hound. Hecky Borfman. Oh, he failed the roll. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Um, Mythic does not have quick hands here. I'm just going to swap here and throw a net on this one. All right, Zealousy, your time to shine. Okay. Not quite then. There we go. Get him, buppers. Swap back to this. I guess we'll roll down here. Eat them, puppers. Oh, he slept my puppers. How dare ye. Oh, let's just tighten this up. Okay, I'm going to move two here. Cut. Missed. Uh, 
gotta wait on this one. Cheesy rice. Uh, let's go ahead and wake... Well... I'm gonna have Zealousy wake him up. I'm gonna step here and try to kill him. Good. Let's go ahead and just get right on him here. Nice. Um, I can't quite reach, though I can swap here and still fire out, right? Nice. Um, could swap in, but I'm gonna wait. Okay, we're gonna wake up our bro. I'm gonna get ready to wake up here as well. Listen here, you... The blazy style kitty. You sure are something. Alright. Hey, we hit. Sword Lance having a heck of a time getting in there. Right, turn done, turn done. Turn done. I guess we'll just rotate in here then. That'll do it. I think they might start running now. We'll see. Yeah, they're done. They are out of here. Well, that Alps fight went really good. It's over. Alright, got some taxidermy goods. Aim it awaits. Alright, so we all got really good naps there. Awesome. Okay, let's just go here. Let's sail down to where? Let's figure out what path we're going to take now. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I just came from Blankhoom and came down to Jaden Sea. I'm going to sail to Wasserkoog, then we're going to walk this circle, and then we'll go back down south. Before we do, though, just going to camp till dawn. Let's say because Amber Collector could definitely be replenished. I also want to buy these nets while they're cheap. We're getting a what? 18 shield of Val. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to buy an antidote and a couple of bandages here too. Okay. Medical supplies for 184. Let's load up. All right. Now we're going to Wasserkoog. That's us. All right. 50% more food for sale. Buying items for 5% more. Buying and selling food for less. Selling items for less. All right. All right, except for all those ambush trade routes. What is my relation with Wasser Coog? Friendly? Okay. Abducted children's no good. I don't really want to fight a Hexen right now. Let's uh, try out Reinhold the Suttler here. What do you got, Reinhold? Oh yeah, Hakan needs a new name here. It's going to be uh, Bobak. Thanks for your support. Getting added that forever name and gameless. Appreciate it. Uh, Wilfred's going to get a new name here as well. That's Lulupi. Very good. Let's see if you're bro-worthy. You are not bro-worthy. Head over to old Ranulf in the market, okay. What we got going on here? Uh, 
Nah, dude. How many crowns here? 1100? Where is Kaltenbach? Where is Kaltenbach? Three days? Kaltenbach right here. Nah, dude. That's not the one. Okay, Wasser Kug was a bit of a bust. That'll happen. I decline this contract. I'm also going to decline this contract. You know, tool price here is okay. I'm just going to buy four. Okay. Let's set some stuff to repair in our inventory and then move along. He's getting repaired. Repair that too. Let's go here and here. How you bros feeling? Okay, you're, you're ready to get back in the line. Rain is going to be nimble. Let's go ahead and give him nimble right now. He just doesn't have the fatigue to be anything else. Three melee defense. Hell yeah, three attack and... I think I'm going to take the three fatigue. 120 is a good spot for a nimble bro. Alright, mythic applesauce. Hey, you're a dodge tank, that's right. Definitely going to give him nimble too then. Okay, melee defense, and this is a good attack one, but if I'm running out of um I'm running out of fatigue rolls. Still want 70 here. Alright, I'm gonna go nimble now. Alright. We got Lulu P's gotta level up here, gonna be student for now. Alright, three star melee. Not the best start to melee, but adequate. Let's go here and here. Gonna have to focus fatigue for sure. Okay. Now we're gonna run this little loop here. We're gonna go up to Thunsetten. We're gonna go to Burgau. We're gonna go to Grafenhaven. Then we're gonna sail down to Hikma, and then we're gonna start doing some stuff in the desert. Okay, this is cheap, uh, cheap mead and cheap goat cheese as well. I'm going to buy all of this because, well, it's a good resource. Okay, I'm at 133 of 135 right now. That's rough. Only 15 shield, though, so we'll wait. Where is it? Burgal, that's where I'm headed anyways. Let's go. I got the bros here. Balon the Goat Man. Let's try him out here. Okay, he's got one star range. He's a bleeder. Let's try you out. He's a brute with fear of beasts. Nah. Uh, Tharson, if you include a message with what name you want in the name and game, we can do a different name that's not your username. Sure. No problem with that. No issue there. All right, cheap salt's cool. Oh, even cheaper goat cheese, damn. Oh, cheap, cheap tools. Okay, tools, we're getting them. Check out this quest is. How many crowns? Brigands at Forsaken Ruins. Okay, Forsaken Ruins north of Burgau sounds good because there's actually a lot of space here for one to appear. Before we do this, however, we're going to have to sell some stuff off so we have inventory space. So let's take a look at the armor here that's well supplied. What's this? Good old dragon skin. That's cool. Oh, hey, leather scale armor for 900. I think I'm going to pick that up. Putman's armor for 1800 is also quite good. I feel my main lacking in this particular playthrough is currently armor. Our weapons are pretty decent. But we're shy on quite a few armor types. Okay, we're only at 14 shield here. I 
and sell off this and this sell off these non-padded helms um let's sell off one of these sell these swords a stupid club this bad crossbow okay i don't need all these shields not even close okay I got four bandages. Okay, I'll sell two. Okay, I can sell off these fish before they go bad. We got plenty of food on hand. It's at 111. Let's fill up some bro's inventory slots here. All right. Simple QH, quick hands, he's got it. Our Amphid also has quick hands. Gonna give you a bandage. Gonna give you an antidote. Let's give you a bandage too. Uh, net on mythic applesauce. All right, you need a net. Spruce effect quick hands here, not quite, but soon. Backup banner quick hands, that's him. What's going on with these injuries here? Pierced hand, injured shoulder, that's fine. It's not affecting my defensive capabilities. Alright, you can get a net, and for now, I'm gonna give you... I'll just give you this hooked blade. You're gonna grab quick hands here very soon. Alright, Lulu P needs a net, and I'll give you the antidote, sure. Net. PD have quick hands yet? No. Alright, 101 out of 135. We should be able to take on some brigands with that. I'm going to save before we do. Should also consider if I'm going to do this, if I should buy the armor beforehand. Let's just see how the fight goes. Maybe I'll get some armors here. Pretty hefty uh, contract price, so... Doesn't seem unreasonable that there'd be some armor here. Nets are one-time use, yes. But a very valuable one-time use. All right, Papa Nee, thanks for 27 months and that $25 donation. Going to add you to that forever name and game right now. Insert one row below. Papa Nee. All right, you'll be the next character to be named when we get there. Uh, Pintara, thanks for 50 months as well. Appreciate you. 18, though? 18? Uh, maybe I should be taking this fight at night. See if they charge forward here. I do have ranged characters, so... Kind of makes sense they would. Who dis? Radulf the Mad. Hell yeah, dude. Pop it off. You hit from that far? Nice shot, man. How can I be mad at a brigand poacher if they're doing that? Okay, there's thugs here, too. It's, uh, it's thugs and raiders. I'm just gonna get up on this. Let's go. Alright, there's some scary stuff back here. Alright, let's go here. Yep. Scary, dude. Gotta wait on that. All right, I guess that means uh, Amphid's head over here. I'm going to go for uh, Adrenaline. I'm going to step up here. 
We should step in here. It's a good blockage. Sword Lance seems like it'd be appropriately placed in here. Okay, uh, my boy Oh No is just gonna get to it here. Seven percent chance to hit, huh? Uh, let's move up to Brigand Raider. Fifty-seven. That'll do. I think I kind of need to head down this way. Do you have a foot injury or something? That's the spot. Just listen here, bud. So, uh, Amphid can swap to a two-hander here for free. I'm going to do that. I'm going to step in and hit Axe Guy. This guy is concerning. Okay. Do I have quick hands? No. Oh, I'll wait here. See what they do. Ow. Hmm. Radulf doing it. What's our chance to here? 41? That's pretty good. It's a little spoopy. 45? Hell yeah off right now. Bow back. I think Big Hammer Guy is who I want to kill here, for sure. I'm gonna swap to net here. I'm gonna throw a net. Oh, never mind. I don't have quick hands on him. I messed up. Thought my banner had it for sure. I was wrong. 3970? Uh, yeah. Yeah. One very nice thing we have going on here is there's already panic in the ranks. I kind of want to try to push him back and then step into this spot. Because that would lock Hammer Bro down. Let's give this a try. There we go. Also lets my sword lance and stuff step up, which is good. Go here and cut my mans. Alright, it's great axe time. 50%. That'll do it. A little worried about Radulf the Mad stepping in here. Um, you know, Ono's is pretty well tanked. I'm going to go here. I'm hoping to get Radulf's armor. Or, at the very least, his helmet. Looks like a 240 helm to me. Alright, Godin Dog is the most aggressive weapon here. Alright, time for the re-pop offening. 59%. Ooh, nice try, nice try. No kidding, dude. For reals, though? Okay, if I go here and I reap. Okay, not quite. I'll help my own guy if I do that. Let's not. Whoa, whoa, they're going in. I see it now. I think there's a good chance we get a cascading morale failure on this. Let's try to get this guy first. Alright, what's Zealousy doing with his life right now? He's poking this guy in the guts.
That's a boppin'. Good misses here. Oh, he needs to back out. The leader here seems very content just throwing axes, which I'm happy with. Probably gonna pull out like a great axe or something here in a second. Please don't break my shield. It's the only heater shield I got. Thanks. Uh, okay. Well. I'm just going to swap back to my pike. If I had quick hands, this would be better, but I don't. Ow. Me noggin. All right, who can I pop off on here? 36, 46, 45. Let's go 45. All right, he doesn't have a bleed effect, so he's not technically dying yet. Cool. Really surprised how they initiated here. Like, they really went for it. Alright, good, good, some morale problems now. Very nice. Oh, I'm on this guy, okay. Uh, okay, we'll step in here. I'm gonna go ahead and bust this guy's shield. Looks good. Stab this guy to death. Stab you. Okay, he's busted. Good. What's this guy doing? Everybody's starting to break now, so we can start considering surrounding the, uh... Start considering surrounding the leader. This should be a good reap. Oh, yeah. You know, if it landed, it would have been real good. Alright, this guy's already broken, so I can run up on somebody else here. I can't run through him, okay. That's fair. Uh, that's a boppin'. Okay, hammer guy's down. Everybody's breaking. Beautiful. I'm going to start running in here. I just don't want to let the uh, the leader get away. That's all. And he just moved himself into a worse position for being surrounded. Makes me very happy. He does have arming sword too. I need to be careful here. I'm going to wait with the banner. Okay, let's just step here in long axe. Because these guys are the ones I want going over there. Go here. Okay, I'm going to bring him down here to touch these two, so when they try to run, I get a hit. Do I have a net on Amphid? Not. He does have quick hands, though. Let's get in here. Net here, no net here either. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to swap to dagger now. I'm going to start trying to stab him. Okay, great axe. 72% chance to hit. We missed. Okay. This guy can't run either. He's kind of actually blocking in the, uh, the other enemy, which is nice. Okay, this guy does have a net. So I should be able to move one. Swap to the net and throw it. Okay, not quite. I have a miscalculated. There we go. All 
Alright, Zealousy is definitely stepping in here. I guess he's technically locked in now, too, so we could get... Where was he trying to run to, though? Amphit should have swapped to his other weapon there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that guy was still in zone of control. My bad. Let me uh, step up and hit you again, okay? My bad. Nice shot, Bobak. Damn. Bobak is on freaking point right now. All right, now it's time to net him. Tiny knife. Tiny knife. All right, he's fully locked into his position now. It is definitely a lot to learn, Papani, but yes, the earlier game battles are uh, less intensive because you have uh, usually six to seven bros rather than the six team we have here. In fact, this uh, starting origin, the peasant militia, has even more units in combat than usual. The normal cap is 12, and for peasant militia, it's 16. So this is a... Uh, these are some big battles. Oh, okay. I just left that guy alone. Later, Tater. Be sure to tell everybody about what happened here today. We're surrounding this guy and we're stabbing him to death so that we can get his gear. Uh, get his gear uh, undamaged, even. Alright, might as well just end turn here. I'm not even going to use the stamina right now because he just proc nine lives. I mean, it's going to be really hard to hit him until the next round. Okay, very good. Who knows, leveled up. We did get this. It's a 150 helm. That's it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Back to Bergal. What's up, Marnik? Welcome back, dude. All right, pretty productive set of day. I am very tempted to buy some of these armors. The town's well supplied right now, so the prices are very good. Salad helmet is very nice for archers because it has no vision negative. Also good for nimble bros. Why is this one? Why is this one so much more expensive? One's 230 minus two vision. Okay, the fatigue's much lower. Got it. Yep. You know, still being at 14 shield here, I think I'm just going to walk over to the next city and try to sell there. I think I am going to buy a couple armors here. Let's buy the leather scale armor and the footman's armor. Some nice equipments. Could also just buy these 150s. The a tough choice, dude. This one, 130? Alright. I'm going to buy the leather scale and one of these 150s. That's going to be the only thing I'm going to purchase here. Okay, we'll get those equipped on somebody here in a moment. Let's just head down to Grafenhaven. 12 Serpents. You know, I think I could probably take on 12 Serpents. I definitely have the damage for it right now. I think I'm going to save here and try. Just swap out some armors here. Okay, Rain, you're nimble. So this is 12, this is 7. Okay, you're where you want to be. 115, Casually Challenge is not a nimble bro. 
Let's give him the 140 mail here. And we'll give uh, this 12. I'll give you the basic meal shirt. Gonna give uh, Mythic Applesauce, who's also nimble, the 150. No. All right, Amphid. Let's give Amphid the 150. Let's give you the 130. All right, Bobak did an awesome job that last battle. Thank you, Bobak. Okay, I definitely need fatigue here. You know what the hey? I'm gonna go initiative here. They got a really nice roll on initiative, and I can I can grab dodge. For the moment though, I'm gonna grab quick hands. So now Bobak can swap to the hooked blade. Okay, own oh, nose for perks. Really, I should probably grab Berserk or Mastery here, but I'm going to grab Quick Hands. Going to do basically a unilateral Quick Hands on everybody at this point. Okay, three is a good roll. A yes, and yes, please. So the Serpents are attacking the Peasants. Let's just check this out. Lots of serpents. That is lots of serpents, dude. Hey there, peasants. Don't don't worry too much. Just get on in there and do your best, buddy. All right, is it three or four tiles away? I want to be from snakes. I think it is four. Gonna back up here. That's actually a pretty defensible position on this side. I'll leave this. Now they're gonna pull me in, is what's gonna happen. Okay, well let's back up. So I'm gonna back up one here. Looks like they're pretty spread out, which is good. I'll wait on that guy. Yeah, they can move one and grab. That's right. That's right. There's not much going on down here. It seems like mostly up here. Let's do this. They're, they're leaning on this side. Very good. One, two, four on this side, five on this side, seven on this side. Okay. Oh my god, he's going to grab my uh, crossbow guy, I think. Is Bobak? Okay, Bobak does have very good... Um... Oh, we're going to see here. Oh, Bobak still gets to move. Excellent. Back. Bobak can fire here and then move back. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep this bro centralized. Let's see what happens. Zealousy might get grabbed here, which is fine. Not ideal, but fine. Waiting. Waiting. Peasant's just standing there. He's like, I'm going to smug at him. All right. You do you, bud. Give him the old smugs. I want to see if they'll initiate further in here. Doesn't seem like it. They're pretty content with what they're doing. 
I'm gonna step up here. I'm going to... Okay, I didn't give him a two-hander. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's just net uh, this guy. You know what? Uh, good luck, Peppers. Appreciate you, bud. Forty-two, fifty-four. Let's go here. Shot. What a brave peasant. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going right for the peasants. I mean, I guess that's fair, right? And they're going to go for the weakest target. Okay. I got to... I've already waited here. I can't wait any longer. Can I move two and hit? No, I cannot. Uh, I almost feel like collapsing back here is a good play. Right. Good hit. Good. I worry now because we haven't killed any snakes yet. That's um problematic. Eat them, puppers. Does not have quick hands. Okay, I'm gonna get into this slot right here. Could have also rotated to hit there. Damn, these peasants turned out to be a huge boon on this fight. Huge boon. I actually think maybe retreating back to this side is better. We'll just sacrifice the peasant and reposition for the snakes. Like, I can start hitting here, but then we have five on four, where this side's looking a lot more promising. I'm going to go back. Okay, one down. Awesome. Okay, now I can also swap here, because he got a uh, berserk. What? I don't have enough fatigue. Fair enough. Fair enough. Get him, puppers. Gonna get up here. Okay. I mean, they're confident because they're killing peasants. I mean, it's not. Not the end of the world for me. I can step three and still reload. I can step two and still reload. Okay, I'm just gonna go back here then. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I guess I'm going to step up here and we're going to rush back down there. Otherwise, Zealous, he's probably dead. Freaking confident snakes. Get out of here with your confidence. I'm actually going to get down here. They're already netted, right? How dare ye hit me, puppers? How dare ye? Gotta wait. Okay, I'm going to rotate in. Miss. Good. 
If it's turns done, I'm just gonna step in here, all right? Okay, what were you doing, Onos? Great axing? Okay, I can rotate and hit here, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the peasant out, though, because the peasant uh, basically just bait for the snakes. Okay, Dr. Love Wizard going back to Long Axe here. I'm gonna step up one, I'm gonna kill this boy. Uh, this is definitely a good time to shield wall, Zealousy. You sure you're wondering. That's fine. Bop my mans. Okay, he's stunned. Okay, 70, 73. Looks good. Dude, way to escape with your life, man. Really. We're all proud of you, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna say Lulu P's in some trouble. Lulu P's only level 2. Nice try, Bobak. That's fine. Uh, do I push back here? Yes, I'm gonna push the snake. And then I'm going to step here. This gets one less person on Lulupi. Get him, buffers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to drill in so I can actually swap them out if I need to, which is looking pretty likely. Okay, you're gravely wounded. The alt shows the hit point bars, okay. So I had to turn, this, uh, turn those off today. Okay. All right, I should probably hit the outside line here. Yeah, that's the one. All right, you do have swap, so I could swap you into here, but Reap's looking pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to step down here, and then I'm going to swap uh, you like this. What was that noise you just made, Daisy? Please. You're just a little baby kitty. I know you smell lunch, okay? I know it. This freaking cat back here. Cat back. What was that noise you just made? Huh? Unbelievable. Yo-ho, Puffer's got one. All right, moment of truth here, Bobak. Nice try, bud, nice try. I can step two and hit. Okay, good. Doing a lot better about Lulu P's prospects now. Okay, they're both unharmed. This guy's surrounded by three snakes now. That's, like, really gnarly. Um... Since you're not damaged, let's actually go over here. Okay, we're not. Okay, this should be the reap we want. Okay, it was decent. This snake's fleeing good. All 
Okay, I'm going to step here and try to bop this snake. 74, two-turn stun, beauty. Dead snake, beauty. Get him, bubbers. Get him, bubbers. Yeah, I am concerned about Petey the Nimble here. Okay, still confident, though, this snake. Yo, KSWA, thanks for 63 months. Appreciate that. Good job, peasant. Way to, way to stay in the game. He's fresh. He's not even not even breaking, not even a little bit. Okay, one more down. Good. Step here and hit this guy. Good. This guy. Okay, maybe not. Hit the non-broken one, of course. Okay, that was not the best adrenaline. We probably won't be able to do anything next turn. Wow, get him, puppers. Oh, hell yeah, never mind, we got him. That's a bobbin. Well, fighting 12 snakes and nobody dying is definitely a successful venture. Okay, I, don't, I need inventory space right now, big time. Let's drop these stupid clubs. Let's drop... This, drop these stupid Buckleys. Good. Hey, it's been a great one, KSWA. Thank you. Where's this from? Where's the first Felsberg company from? Okay, so Felsberg... Standard Bearer Arbalesters. Mini Footman is too much, right? Too much. All right, made it to Grafenhaven. There's no problems here. That's very good. We got 20 shield evaluation, so we can very easily sell here and then uh, take her from there. All right, before we go any further here, just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, grab a very quick snack, my breakfast, in fact. Please do enjoy the kitty that's already appeared on Treat Cam, waiting for treats. Not so patiently, but waiting nonetheless. We'll be back in just a few minutes for the continuation of this Battle Brothers stream. Enjoy the kitty time.
All right, we have returned. Look how lazy Pin Pin is. She couldn't even get up for food. She's like, ah, I'm good. During the break, energetic apathy. Thanks so much for 45 months. Appreciate that very much. Excuse me. We've got to clean up inventory right now. That's a fact. Okay, 451 for spices is okay. What is our current faction with Grafenhaven? Currently open. I'd really like to get this to Allied. This is the main port city. The one thing I see here is there I can sell the food I bought for a lot more than I purchased it for. Uh, after this town, we're also going to sail to the southern cities, so I don't need to worry too much about running out of food, though I'm using 33 provisions per day. That's no joke. All right, let's figure out where we're at. Okay, 90, 90 is probably done. I'm going to keep these 110s around for a little bit. 12, 11. Okay, 95 and 80, 70, no. I do want a couple uh, coif-style hats for... Some other stuff. 150 hat, okay. I probably can get rid of the ancient legionary helmets now. What do you got? Okay, you're nimble, that's right. Okay. Only my say, let's give him this hat. And we'll give Amphid the 150 helmet. And then we'll pass the 140 down to Mythic. A little bit over on his Nimble, but still a good reduction in HP damage. What needs repaired right now? This does, this does, uh, that does, this too, and that, and this. Hey, what's up, Trash Jabs? Nice to see you. Okay, we also have metal joint covers right now. Neat. Oh, I still have this direwolf pelt mantle too, don't I? Let us uh, toss the direwolf pelt mantle onto this footman's armor. And let's put the metal pauldrons on the 140 leather scale armor. Okay, cool. I hate to say it, I think I think Jay Merck uh, is going to get dismissed here eventually. Don't like dismissing bros, but he's traumatized and uh, suffering. Okay, yes, I'm still going to keep that. This is gone. Sell these. Only need one extra shield here. Happy powder? Okay. No, happy powder was a thing. Protective runes and sigils. Trophy necklace, outer bag. Happy powder, okay. And sell these rainbow scales later. Okay, let's parse this down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna drop it's 105. I'm going to drop these arming swords, though they are very nice. We're not really using arming swords. Little knife, don't need. Regular pick, nah. Yeah, don't need this. Okay, that gives us 35 inventory spots. That's less than I'd like, but enough. Okay, I got net over 100 on these incense right now. Pretty decent. I'm going to sell this line of spices. We're going to be loading back up on trade goods here momentarily. Okay, what do we got going on for quests? Koenigsfeld. Nope. Follow tracks. Return idol of fertility. Awesome. Awesome, except for they're going towards the mountains. Oh my gosh, this is going to be one of those ones that runs forever. 
No, oh, they're chilling. Thanks for running towards me. Appreciate that. Okay, a few marksmen, a couple raiders. Hey, Jolly Roger. Thanks for 77 months. Thank you. I believe after I do some stuff in the desert, I'm going to head up north and I'm going to do some raiding of the caravans up there because we really don't need access to the northern portion of the map. Okay, I think they still move up here. Maybe. No, they don't. Okay. Hey, dude. Pretty rude. Pretty rude. Okay, there's a pike here. That's good. Did not mean to end my turn there. I keep doing that. Okay, blocking sight. Blocking sight as well. Interesting. Let's head over here then. Alright, Amphid, uh, what you doing? Let's bring you over this side. That's a plan. Go here. Gonna go here. Mm, I'm gonna walk it up. Side. Actually, let's walk down to the middle. Alright, Zealousy's gonna step up here. I can afford to get hit with the pike. On Zealousy, anyways. Get Billy in the back here. And you're gonna be lagging behind, because I actually hit F on that character. I'm gonna wait here, see what they do. Okay, yeah, he went for aim shot. Interesting, interesting. One. I'm thinking nomads may have some considerable gear upgrades for us in the desert as well, which would be nice. All right, so now I can get in here. Maybe a little bit uh, aggressive, but be all right just hit him real hard yeah you did take the high ground from me good job so like a seven on one though that's a chopping He just repost. Okay, I gotta be here. Almost dead. Okay, he's gonna bleed out for sure. I'm gonna have to help my man out there. Okay, look at that. We can get to the archer right now. That's a beauty. Hmm. I'm gonna go here and push him off there. There we go. Hello, sir. Yes, they do have three archers. It's true. Dead and dead. All right, who's getting bonked right now? You? 42 to stun for two turns? I. Right. Those are my kind of odds. Uh, 
Oh, it's your turn. Whose turn is it? What the heck? Okay, Bowback has quick cans and a hook blade. Very nice. This guy's probably in the biggest trouble. And that's not meaning he's going to die. He's, just, he's definitely the most out there. Bonk. Hello, friend. Okay, can't hit him. If I go here, can I hit him? I can. That's a chopping. Actually, in a little bit of um, a bad position. That'll do it. Oh, where are you guys running to? All I'm trying to do is ruthlessly murder you. Come back. So 140 helm. I might go for a surround on this guy and stab him. It's also another 140 helm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's see here. So there's two slots right now to lock it up. Let's go here. I don't have quick hands. Fair. We're going to swap to knife here. Essentially, I trade some armor damage to get a guaranteed or near guaranteed drop. Oh, okay, this guy's completely surrounded now. Um, Let's release the puppers. Pupper time. Pupper time. I'm gonna kill this guy, but stab this guy. Can't quite make it to the second archer soon, though. Does Dr. Loverzard have some kind of injury? I feel like he keeps moving three instead of four. Where is Dr. Love Wizard? Here he is. Ah, one additional action point per tiled move. Indeed, he's got a maimed foot. Well, that'll happen. Just part of being a bro, really. Blasted, dude. Okay, he's dead. This guy's fully panicked now. Hold on, what's going on here? There, there's a unit there. Yeah, the banner's blocking my vision. It's fair. I'm gonna go here then. And then here. Starting to realize more and more the value of stabbing down enemies. Even if you don't really need the armor, you're still guaranteeing the armor drops at a higher value by doing this, right? 
there's not really a downside to stabbing if they're already fleeing and you already have them surrounded. Exactly, it's farming money. That's a good way to look at it. Um, I'm going to go here so I can swap Puppers out next turn. It's just money you're leaving on the table if you bash their armor down. Yo, Aventus, thanks for 32 months. Appreciate that a lot. I've also had uh, plenty of times here where... Um, I was too greedy with trying to get the armor and then paid the price of losing a bro or something. So there's definitely a fine balance there, but towards the end of battles when things are starting to break down, I've been a lot more conscious to be looking for uh, morale breaks. Okay, got another pike and a long axe. Let's collect our pay. What did that take our uh, relations here? Okay, I gotta turn it in to get the increase. I get it. Crowns well deserved. Okay, market's closed for right now. That's very true, saying that it is easier to pull off with the peasant militia compared to other... Uh, other backgrounds. Very fair point. Hatchet, no. This, yes. Those are worth repairing. Alright, let's do some level ups here. We got Acarius. I think since Acarius is a tank, uh, we're not going to put quick hands on him. I already have brawny. It's going to be really hard to scale the uh, the armor up unless we get some very nice fatigue rolls here. That's a pretty nice one. Okay, four melee defense. I really don't care if this character can't even attack. If they're just going to stand there and be able to get hit, that's perfectly fine. That 31 melee defense tells me that this character should definitely be frontlining. I guess I'm going to grab a three resolve here. Let's give him Battle Forged. This reduces overall damage taken based on armor value. It's certainly not going to be bad for a tank style character. All right, Pun Intentional is going to grab Quick Hands here so we can utilize that Hooked Blade. Also going to give Pun Intentional a net. Go. All right, looking good, bud. Man, oh man, am I going for a combo character here or not? Should probably go up to like 60 here at least. 5 HP, 4 resolve. This all look really good. I'm going to take the... F no, not 4 resolve. 47 is enough. Just a really good nimble bro with this HP. Alright, let's do this. Three's acceptable. Okay. All right, Lulu P. I'm going to go for melee attack. Okay, no melee defense happening. That's fair. Let's grab HP here, and I'm going to grab a resolve. Let's get a natural four roll. All right, second level here. I'm just going to go for gifted so we can get stats rolling. You can also look for bros here at this town. Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think melee defense is going to be wrong. And I think uh, natu 4 fatigue here sounds good. Yeah, for sure, saying uh, that Quetal Dagger is very strong versus netted enemies. It's a good idea. Alright, Iglesia. Grabbing melee attack. We're going to grab... 
You know, I'm going to grab this right here, and I'll grab Fatigue. And we're going to grab Quick Hands. Put QH here. Okay, Dr. Love Wizard already has Quick Hands. Cool. Okay, well, three melee defense is a good roll. Didn't get one here. Fine. Okay, this is our backup banner. Um... Like, our current banner has crazy melee defense. They could actually end up being a tanky-style character. So I think I'm going to continue working on replacing the banner like this. Then we'll grab Fatigue, sure. All right, what next? I won't grab Fortified Mind and it's up until the point. We're going to be able to have that. I'm going to grab Rotation here. Rotation's very life-saving. Okay, now we're going to rest till morning. Oh, also, did this get us to... Okay, we're friendly here. Interesting. That's right, I kept turning down quest here because there was just, like, not very much that was good, I felt. Okay, let's uh, try out Halston the Brawler. HP, Resolve, Initiation. Okay, maybe not. Check out Bertel the Gravedigger. Two star melee, one star range, one star range defense. Okay. Um, I'm going to hire just hire a couple fishermen here and we'll see what we roll on. I'm going to spend about a grand on this. All right, what do we got going on? You're terrible. You know, this is a bro. Started with 5 melee defense, 58 health, 57 1 star attack, and 96 1 star fatigue. Uh, could could work as a backliner here, sure. 47, 40, 98. Okay, that's a noper. Alright, this is gonna be... Papa Neat, thank you all for all that support via donation on this uh, Forever Naming Game List. Appreciate that a lot. I'm going to post the names right here. Okay. Alright, what's Papa Neat going to get here? Let's toss him... Uh... A 105 Nomad Mail. Let's give him a 105 Helm. And... We'll go for a Pike. Okay, does anybody that has Quick Hands not have a two-hander? You. Okay, oh no, is going to get a Long Axe. Well, I'm going to go Axe Mastery on you, now that I see it. Casually Challenged, it's not a Quick Hands yet. Okay, you do, but you have a Hook Blade, good. Okay, I definitely don't need double... Double here. Yeah, armors may not sell for that much. I definitely uh, hear your point there, but they do sell for something, right? And if you're looking at the totality of all of the money you make on an entire run, you end up selling, uh, you know, 40 pieces of armor extra at 85 each. It's not nothing. Another set of trade goods you could use to ramp up. Okay, we're like mega out of food right now. I'm gonna buy one fish. Let's buy two fish. Uh, 329. I can turn a profit on those under a very specific circumstance. I'm also gonna sell these off. I'm in a little bit of inventory hell right now. I'm even halfway tempted to scale up the 
stuff here. Okay, let's give you a tiny knife. Everybody gets a tiny knife, all right. Them's the rules. All right, all the frontliners have daggers right now. All right, who's messed up right now? Pun intentions a little messed up. 48, 61. Let's just replace here for now. Okay, and back to the market. Gonna sell off these. Gonna sell off these as well. Gee, one more quiver of bolts might be manageable. They definitely don't need these now. Yeah, we have extra 140 helms. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these sores, these tiny knives. Let's get rid of the flail. This is fine to get rid of. 55 to 80. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this now. We have extra pike and long axe, and we have a long bonker and other stuff too. I'm just gonna sell this so I have inventory space. I'd love to see a taxidermist. I'm going to sell these two. It's not the best time to, but I'm just trying to clear inventory because we're certainly going to be going into the desert here momentarily. I'm going to want all the inventory space I can get. I'm going to buy three nets. I'll buy four nets. All right, great. We got seventeen thousand right now. It's not uh, it's not bad, dude. Let's try this guy out. Let's try him out. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Now, where are we going to sail to next? I can walk down to Tarwa and just walk the line, but I think sailing to Hikma is probably better. And we're going to start exploring some of this area around Hikma. Hopefully, Hikma does not have a uh, drought or something. Okay, ambush trade routes, mirage sightings. Oh, boy. Two three-star contracts here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well that's nice. We can sell Ambers for 370. Now that's a good call. All right, 20 grand in hand. Yeah, I can't be paying 705 for silk. I won't. All right, what can I make here at the taxidermist? Let's make a trophy necklace. Okay, what does happy powder do? Turns a grumpy, ill-tempered mercenary into a happy and energetic one. Do not operate heavy machinery while under the influence. That's fair. That's fair. Serpent skin mantle. I want to make that. Oh, man. Okay, so I could have made multiple serpent skin mantles with those nacho horns instead of the necklace. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, what does serpent skin mantle look like? Who's got who's got real bad resolve in here? Somebody. I mean, I could give him the the deserter it. Let's give Papa Nee the uh, trophy necklace. The resolves lacking. Okay, serpent skin mantle. Ooh, thirty durability reduces damage from fire and firearms by thirty three percent. Let's toss that on a 150 here. Okay. We have enough to repair right now. Uh, let's check this out. They're large sandy bastards, and they're tearing up the country. Whoa, whoa. 
Okay, let's check this out real quick. Okay, hunt down what kills people. I mean, this has to be Ifrit's, right? What's this one? Creatures of an undetermined sort. Oh, they're both hunt down what terrorizes. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to make a save here. I want to check these quests out. I'm not sure we're actually going to do them. I'm just curious well, which is which. Um, God, there's something good about this. Like, if we pay for a show... Um, I raise in a good spirit. What happens if we rob him? I gained a loot and a jester's hat. Our morale's fine right now. Okay, 14 hyenas. A plethora of hyenas. Wowzy. A plethora? So 115, we'll just replace with 110 for right now. Lethera, though? That's scary. Guess we'll see what happens here. Lethera. Oh, look, they're frenzied, too. How nice. I think I'm just going to wait for them to initiate and see what happens. Can I shoot at this guy? I sure can. 37. There we go. Back up one with him, too. Anas love to wait on their turn. I will do the same. There we go, that's why. They very often step up like that. A shield guy on top of this is uh, smart, or would have been smart. This is a little yikesy. Oh darn, since I waited here, I can't actually do this right. I goofed. Okay, he'll be good next turn, though. Alright, I'm gonna release my puppers right here, and I'm gonna step up. Whoa! Puppers going for it. What a gent. What a lad, this puppers. Yeah, I shouldn't have waited with everybody. I learned, I learned a lesson today. Uh, I can rotate here, I guess. Good. I'm going to move here and then Adrenaline. Would have been really nice if he could get up here. I guess I could still step up and block. Okay, Axe is going to step up here. I'm also releasing Puppers. Seems like a good time for that. Okay, going to attack. I'm also going to Adrenaline here so I can do the stab through on the next round. And again with the Puppers. Hell yeah, Puppers. Nice work, dude. Nice work. Or I can step uh, here right now and I can Reap. Okay, we hit one out of three. Uh, yeah. Alright, what's Zealousy gonna do here? Probably stop the flank. Let's go here. Good.
Nice one. You know what, dude? Even more puppers. That's tough, dude. Why would you do that to me, puppers? Explain yourself, you bastard. Hmm. Really got in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. The spaghetti is getting cooked. I repeat, the spaghetti's getting cooked. Okay, he's bleeding a lot. All right, they went down. Did I just hit my own puppers? That's really tough. I didn't mean that. I mean, they're breaking here. That's good. Tough losing casually. They're pretty good, bro. Oh, yeah. Maybe trying this one again. I don't think I'm willing to lose four bros on this fight. It was just a check. I also really messed up my initiation, so I missed out on like four or five attacks on the opening round. So that's that's tough. Let's actually... Let's do it again. This time I'm not going to wait with everybody because that's a bad idea. This is by far the largest group of hyenas I've ever faced. It's a lot. I'm gonna wait. Okay, now I'll wait. I gotta move up so this we have, you know, room. I'll just leave the, the guy right here for now. I'm gonna wait. Can wait on some, but I have to have room to move up, so my frontliners kind of need to do a move here. I guess is what it boils down to. We'll see what they do. Okay, I've at least left myself room to initiate from. Chelsea's gonna go right here. All right, he did move up. Good, good. Okay, I think maybe the shield walling I did was a little, or the spear walling was not advantageous. Hard to say, though. I can just hit right here. Beauty. Uh, 
All right, let's tuck in here. It's good, bleeding and breaking. Um, I'm going to step here and hit this one. Okay, he's already breaking. Awesome. Um, I think it's a really good chance I can kill him with the other dude if this lands. Okay, no reap for us. Just a regular hit. Cut artery. Okay, one's down. Beauty. Oof. Probably gonna have to rotate this guy out. Okay, they're going after this archer. I need to tuck him back in here for sure. Okay, they're on him. Scene. Okay, Zealous, you can kind of lock this down. Also, Bopak might be dead. Very real possibility. Unbelievable. Okay, Bobak can swap to this and still attack, right? Yeah. Okay, not as grim as it looked before. Let's see uh, health bars here. Let's say people dying would be good for our morale. Good. Yeah, I mean, he's hurting. Easy rice, dude. Okay, I can swap myself out here, and I'm going to do exactly that. Just going to zoop on down the line. He's still hurting, but... It's frankly, not as bad as it was before. Get him, poppers. Yo, Aventus3. Sorry for missing you earlier there. Let me get all caught up. Thanks for 32 months. Jolly Roger, thanks for 77. IS Tech Geek, thanks for 89 just now. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, what do I do here? I kind of feel like the best line is to hop into this spot. But I can also hop back here. Or even right here to lock these two in. Let's go here, because Zealous, you can still step up and attack. Uh, let's get this guy. Okay, he's fleeing now. That's really good, because this guy's bleeding heavily. All right, now I can step up here to lock these two in with Zealous. Okay, he's fleeing as well. Awesome. Okay, that's fair. That was some sick dodging, dude. What was that, 11 dodged attacks in a row? Apparently, Bobak wants to live, and I can, uh... Appreciate that, Bobak. Thanks for trying. Bobak, the still alive. Okay, there's no step two and hit here. 
I feel like this side is covered because this one's already fleeing, this one's broken, and this one's on my highest tank. So let's step back here. Breaking. Just hit the confident one, huh? Very good. Um, I can go up here. All right, he got away. That's definitely fair. Okay. My man could use a bandage. He done. Oh, snap, is he going to die if I don't bandage him? Sure feels like it. Come on now. I feel like I did put bandage on somebody. Okay, here they are. Um, bear? Okay, good. This one's going to try to flee. They're both going to try to flee, so this will probably be the kill before the next round and my guy dies. I'm going to actually say it's over here. I'm going to forfeit this XP to make sure my guy doesn't bleed out. Okay, we got enough hyena pelts to make a hyena mantle now. Okay, still ambush trade routes here. I'm not going to do the Ifrit mission because I'll die doing it. Let's be honest with ourselves now. Or is there any other decent armors here that I'm willing to put a mantle or something on? You know, not really right now. My best other one's 130. All right, who got really messed up there? Somebody almost died. Papa Need almost died, the new guy. Dang. All right, Bobak did a great job on that fight surviving. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go initiative as well. And then I'm going to go for fatigue. I got a plan for Bobak. Uh, I'm going to give him quick hands. I'm going to give him uh, bags and belts too, so that he can carry an antidote and a bandage. We'll fill up his inventory here in a minute. Somebody has antidote. So a super high initiative would be best if they can go before the person that's poisoned or otherwise messed up. It's good. There you go, bud. Have a nice hat, would you? How bad is our armor messed up? 35 hours and 41 tools and supplies. Dang. Okay, Strange Meats selling for 71 right here. Hell yeah, dude. Our shield evaluation at the moment, 21. That's pretty good. Sell the loot. Sell this, and this, and this, and that too. 
I. Oh, hey, saber tooth. Interesting. Let's go. All right. Well, I was gonna say there's no way I can unambush the trade route, so I'd love to to buy armor and stuff. But I'm not fighting 28 ifrits or whatever the hell it's gonna be here. Uh, I'm just gonna take the road down to Azim Shab. We're probably going to do some searching around this general area. Where is this from? Free city of Azim Shab. Well. I don't want to raid that. I'd consider raiding Tarwa here. What's, what are these footprints? 3rd Regiment of Hikma. Okay. I mean... I think we'd be out of range of that. They definitely don't want to fight us. Okay, casually here is going to grab... Fatigue. Going to grab melee defense and health. Let's go for underdog here on casually. I mean, 8 hyenas versus 14 is not so bad. Maybe I can do a couple armor swaps here and be fine. Give you a 110. Oh yeah, armor on the front row is looking pretty good. I think we're going to take this. Uh, swap here as well. Okay, the, the other regiments here. I'm actually just going to save time here. I'm just going to go back and load this in. Since they're part of this, there's going to be a lot of movement. Oh, hey, they fell behind here. I think we actually got it now. There we go. There we go. Holy crap, he did it. Wowzy. My man. Okay, so I can go here, and then I can also swap to this. Got quick hands, after all. Wait. Uh, I'm gonna step up one here to hit. Gonna wait. Gonna wait. I don't see any reason to give up our perch. Oh, hey, I should have um, waited there instead of ending my turn, because Hyena's still got a lot to do. Very good, down to six already, that's nice. I definitely could have hit with a few more characters had I not waited and did the exact same mistake I made last time. Go figure, classic Humanitis. Classic. Okay, I'm going to step over so the other guy can step in as well. Here comes the pain. Oh, they apply the overwhelmed tag. Okay, so that's why it's so hard to hit these guys. Every attack they make gives us a reduction to melee and range skill. 10% per stack of overwhelmed. It's all making sense now. Off with his head. It costs three or four to reload. Costs four to reload, okay. Boy, there's a large difference between um, 
Eight hyenas and 14 hyenas. And that difference is about six hyenas, I think. Chip choppins. <laughs> My man's bleeding, dude. Crazy. Could have also swapped out there to hit. That would have been smart. Yo, Frozen Fire, thank you so much for 35 months. Much appreciation. Thank you, thank you. Hey, once again, thank you to all the new uh, Naaman game people. Recently made a change to our naming game. $25 support via donation, Patreon, or Bits. You can get added to the forever naming game list. Which we rotate through as we name characters. It is the first and probably only ever financial incentive for uh, donating on my channel. I just moved for no reason. Whoops. Don't you bleed out on me, dude. Let me do it. Okay. Ooh, we got three more saber twos. That's nice. Those sell well. Well, that was awesome. We just fought twenty hyenas. No, twenty-two hyenas in the last little bit here. All right, what's going on here? Ambush trade routes. Maybe we can unambush the trade routes here. Going to rest till dawn. Going to check out the weaponsmith. What do you got? Okay, here's a Quetal dagger. Could definitely consider going a dagger mastery, dude. Yo, goat cheese selling for 120 here. That's a pretty dope. Amount. Okay, I only got 25 food myself. What are we going to buy here that's cheap enough? I guess we're buying dates. Okay. Armor has... Stuff I can afford, but not really. Let's go ahead and check out these contracts. Nomads killed. Let's talk about payment here. Moving tents east of Azim Shab. One thing I could do is go explore myself in here to discover this for the cartographer, but I don't think that's a valuable use of our time. All right, I need to rest to heal a little bit. I could even put casually just in the back row for right now. Let's check out the bros here at Azim Shab, huh? Like there's quite a few bros. Uh, let's hire this day tailor. Uh, let's hire a peddler. Let's hire a tailor. Let's check out the new guys. Where are they at? Where's the, where's the last one here? There you are, bud. All right. All right. Nuh has 85 fatigue. That's pretty rough. Two-star, five-star melee defense is nice, but overall, he's going to have a hard time being a great bro due to super low starting stats. What? Okay, he's paranoid, but he's starting with 17 melee defense. Paranoid's generally not a good trait, but... Not the end of the world as far as initiative goes. Seventeen starting melee defense is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this guy too. I'm gonna keep uh, Ferris for now while these guys heal up. Let's give Ferris just some regular old gear here. 
Uh, gonna give him... Okay, he only has 46 attack. Let's just give him a... A 110 shirt, a 140 helm. Uh, let's give him a regular shield and a boar spear and tell him good luck. Yeah, Marlex here. It's very hard for us to get range bros um, on this. This We basically have to pick Shepherd or Poacher, the only two range starts that work. What's this? Hunt down what kills people in the desert. I'll need some time to think about that, sir. Okay, if we unambush the trade routes, we're good to go. Um, oh, I, I should give this guy the heater shield, even though it's going to be like our kite shield. It's going to be uh, very heavy for him. But I want to see what our shield evaluation is always. Going to sell these tiny knives. Going to sell off these clothes. I'll just sell this for now. Okay. Oh, that's not the one. Okay, drive off nomads at moving tents. I'm gonna do a little exploring here till nighttime. Oh, I may have gone too far over here. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we're good. Perfect even. Ooh, mini nomad aloes, nomad archer, nomad leader. I would love to net and stab down this leader. Oh, they're they're headed in. What's up? I was not expecting is this a leader right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nimble dodge, and he's got this big ass cleave. That's a nice weapon, dude. That is a nice weapon. Only nine nomads here, so I may be able to perpetually net the leader and end up getting his uh, gear. That'd be what I want. Okay, let's just step in. 40, 56. Let's get the Sapar guy down. Yeah, two-handed scimitar is not a joke. Like we need to we need to be very careful around that thing. Okay, since he can step up two, I'm going to. 56, 50, 55. I'm actually gonna release Puppers here to keep Long Bonker away from us. Okay, I'm gonna step here. I'm gonna reap. Ooh, that was a nice hit, dude. Hit him. 13% chance to hit. Unintentional does have quick hands, and I have a net on hand. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna toss a net on him right now, because the sooner I'm not being hit by that two hand scimitar, the better. Oh, he's shifty. Okay, I'm going to step in here. Get him, new guy. Good job. Okay, let's lock it up here. Step up with the bill hook. You're dead. Whoa, he went away from puppers? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Look at the mythic applesauce is out here in no man's land. That's the land with no men in it.
87 to hit sounds awesome. Okay, he's already broken. Hell yeah. Let's step over here to Mr. Long Bonker. Okay, that was not a good uh, stoppage. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to Adrenaline. Hell yeah, get on that Archer, puppers. Appreciate you. Alright, I gotta wait here. Yeah, Crixie, I actually turned that off today. Um, you can press Alt to toggle it. As well as a little bit of clutter. It's certainly not bad to know, but I got a generally good feel, I think, of where the enemy's health are at and which targets are a priority. Actually, a change I made uh, today. Get him. Mm. I'm going to step up here and hit Mr. Longbonker. There we go. All right, he's already fleeing. I am very concerned about this. I'm going to step up here. I need to start getting a surround ready, because if he gets away, that's almost... It's, well, it's not ideal. How much chance? 35? Maybe I'll just split his shield then. A okay, long bonkers down. Very good. Frankly, this guy's pretty close to his surround too, and his armor isn't bad. Alright. gonna go for kills hell yeah he didn't break out that's awesome did I give Ferris a knife here I did not well then Ferris you get to stabbing If it's busted. Okay, I gotta wait here. I think this is a two ten armor as well. If we get this lined up that'd be super cool uh, I don't really want to step in range of the uh, the leader until it's officially time and that's soon alright we can step up here okay he fleeing Unintentional is not a character that can uh, get hit by this guy. Uh, Rain's probably okay. Let's get him on this back spot. Put you here. Oh, right, it's still zone of control is a thing. Dr. Love Wizard can plug that up. Uh, that was not smart, because now these guys can't get over. Zealous, he did have a line to go over, but now he doesn't. I'll wait a second. Okay, let's lock it up. Yeah, okay, don't kill me, dude. Are you kidding me? exactly what I was worried about. If 
think Bobak. Is this Bobak? Yeah, he's the guy that has the bleed protection. So this is not not great. All right, Bobak can make it to him to give the bandage next turn, maybe. Provided he doesn't die. Let's uh, let's go here and swap him out. There you go, he's even closer now. Let's go to the old Tuladoo. Karius does have a knife, yes. There we go. This break already, dude. Is this my bleeding guy? It is 31 HP. He should live. He should. I'm gonna move closer to Bobak. Okay, he lived. Oh, there's a guy right here. What are you what are you doing here? Buddy? You're not dead yet? That's weird. Why not? Alright, Bobak's gonna give medical help to you. I saved his life with a bandage. Amazing. There we go, now he's fleeing. I think the nine lives just procced on him. No, not yet. There we go, there's nine lives. I'm actually just gonna wait my turn out. He's not gonna do anything, and nine lives makes it way harder to hit for this round. So we'll just get him next time. Run him down, dude. I'm not leaving this armor on the table. Got him. All right, 200 armor, southern long male shirt with padding. Nice find. Oh, hell yeah, we got the two-handed scimitar as well. That is great. I think what I'm going to do is on the way back to Azim Shab. Oh, wait, I don't have enough tools. I was going to say I was going to check back here, but we'll do that another time. Need to buy tools. This should unambush the trade routes. Should. All right, so let's say Rain is going to take this two-handed scimitar now. And I think with that... I'm going to give him the whip as well. So this guy's going to be Cleaver Specialty. You get all caught up. Top Hat Alpha, thanks for 18 months. Dr. Danger, PhD, thanks for 28. And Fatal Hobo, too, thanks for 19 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks a lot. No longer has ambush trade routes. Hell yeah. Okay, so now I can actually do stuff by tools. Gonna buy all those tools. Gonna buy these uh, cheaper spices, more than likely. Uh, let's figure out what's getting repaired here. Yes. Yes. Definitely repairing these. Or that too, and this. All right, who deserves the uh, 200 armor? I'm gonna say that. Yeah, rain's nimble, so it's just not gonna quite work. Is this guy nimble yet? He is. Okay. Amphid quick hands? Yeah, okay, Amphid will take it. Okay, Ampha just took off, what, a 150 for that? Okay, Extrusive does have a 3-star Fatigue. I'm going to go ahead and toss the 150 on him.
All right, Zealousy needs a level now. My tanks are about the only characters I'm not going to put quick hands on. I'm gonna give him a net. Hell yeah, four on that melee defense. Love it. Three fatigue, yep. And... I'm just gonna go for two health here. All right, perks, we already got Battle Forge, cool. That's some tough choices. I, I might go Indomitable because this is 50% damage reduction, immunity to being stunned, knocked, or grabbed for one turn. So you can step in front of like an unhold or something with that. Let's give it a try. I haven't much experience with this uh, current one. Lulu P level four already. Wowzy. Okay, three. I'm gonna grab three here. I guess I'll grab melee defense. It's not gonna hurt. Uh, it's 64. Let's go for a long axe instead. All right, Papa Neat's back in the game. Gonna trade out Pun Intentional here. Actually, he's not quite healed up yet. Lulu P needs... Just gonna go for quick hands. I feel like especially with the 16 starting people with the peasant militia, that quick hands becomes increasingly important. Let's check out the alchemist real quick. I'm going to buy a backup antidote here. I'm going to check the armor. Got 21 grand right now. Yeah, here's the armor that we just got. Twenty-seven fifty-nine worth eighteen hundred. So armor prices here are not cool. We got twenty shield though. Let's sell two bonkers here. Sell this as well. Sell this. We'll keep an extra sapar. Let's check out this hat real quick. This one's cool. Turban helmet. Problem is the prices here just aren't, um, they aren't good. How's our food doing? We're down to 27 food. Let's stock up on some dates and buy fish too. All right, what was this other quest though? Okay, hunt down what kills people in the desert for 900. That's that's acceptable. I'll do this and then we'll buy some stuff and move along. And by stuff, I basically mean trade goods. Uh, not seeing any tracks. Here we go. This doesn't have a quest marker on it. I'm still going to take it. Seems to me like they're leaning pretty heavily to the south side.
You know, I should have done weight instead of um, what I just did. It's okay. Let's see what they decide to do here. Yeah, I could have hit with multiple people on this round. I'm guessing what's hunting down people in the desert is probably going to be on the southern edge. Oh, right. Okay. Yikes. Ow. Okay, yeah, they made it in there. That's fair. Okay. Honestly, net might have been better here. All right, let's not have rain die. Was good. Right, Rain's got rotate. Let's rotate you in then. Should have hit first. Rain has cleaver. He can swap to. Feels like maybe we've turned a corner here. Gotta be, gotta be back here. Actually here right now. Okay, that one's very good that it's broken. Hey, what's up, Dukowski? Old Man Leviathan. Thanks for 16 months and that prime continuation, dude. Thank you. Good. This is not our quest, by the way. There's just some random hyenas in the desert here. How dude, do not bleed out on me, thanks. Did not mean to step there, I clicked too quick. It's fair. Good dodges, good dodges. Dead. Step up here so somebody else can step up too. Actually, I'm going to step up here and hit so the guys behind me can get a, a line. Good. Darn. Did he die? Son of a gun, I think he did. They didn't buy bandages back at town. 
We'll see how that goes. I might redo this with a bandage on the right person. Yeah, rain did die. That's fair. Well, I think I'm going to accept that. It's just what happened. They were going to be the cleaver guy, but they're dead now. It's not necessarily bad to be losing bros, especially since a lot of our starting bros had not very good stats. And sorry to say rain kind of fell into that category. We can replace them with a better version. Okay, Papa Neat got their first level here. Papa Neat's stats are... Adequate. I'm going to grab a resolve here, get to 40. Student. All right, Ferris is in. Make sure I didn't miss anybody here. No, we're good. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna leave off on this. I already have people in here that are named. I skipped skipped line a few times. So who? Now let's see, Acarius. Okay, so I have an Acarius. I have an Iglesia. All right. Tricky Knight's back. All right, you're pretty hammered. Let's go ahead and throw a crossbow guy in here. Okay, he does have bandages. I need another guy with bandages. Okay, that was not even the hunt downs with kill people quest. I don't see any tracks right now, which is concerning. They got to be down here. Right? What? Dude, where's this quest at? Oh, here it is. 12 Afrites. Okay. Twelve Afrites isn't too bad. This quest sucks, though. Hold on. I take it back. Did we take the quest before the save? Oh, man, this is before both? Oh, boy. Okay, well. I guess I did that to myself. Could always just not fight the hyenas. Let's just skip the hyena fight and we'll go straight for the Afrites. How about that? I camp here. Alright, here we go. 12 Afrites. Afrites are a very nasty type of enemy. Very capable of messing us up, too. Alright, who doesn't want to be here? I'd be very unsurprised if we lose somebody on this. Uh, Daffy Door, I generally just hop right in. I'm very fortunate that I have no problem whatsoever knowing if I'm in a Liker game or not before I try it. I'm gonna make another save here. But I do all the stuff like sound balance and things like that, of course. Oh, holy crap. Okay, I'm going to get in here on these Afrites this time. So I've been holding back on these and waiting for them to combine. But then they spit out and do a really nasty damage. I'm going to try charging them this time. Because you can see they're uncombined at this moment. So that's good. Step into this plush grass. Kind of fortunate there's a cobblestone road here. A uh, smarter me would have taken this fight in the desert, not in the oasis. All 
Okay, these three are going to probably try to combine, so somebody's going to get bead. Almost a certainty. Okay, you have Pathfinder. That's awesome. Way to be. Gonna wait. Waiting. Like hitting here, they're gonna be splitting anyways. There's no real upside to hitting them before they do that. I'm just gonna wait all around here. In fact, I'm gonna do this real quick. Give them somebody to hit. Um, I do want you up here. Roll up. You gotta move. I guess if I do this, they're gonna have a hard time combining, aren't they? Let's see if that's true or not. Oh, never mind. He combined. Does anybody know if netting does anything on a Fritz? This is one of my least bought enemy types. Like, can I net this guy and start hammering the big one? Get up here. Okay, I'm going to wait here because he can move out of the way. Maybe. I'm going to try it here for sure. Right, I do have a net on hand, though I can't move out of the way right now. Let's fire out. Let's swap to the hooked blade. Let's hit. Good. Cheesy rice. Okay, almost dead. Okay, does Amphid have a net? He does. No quick hands yet, that's right. Okay, well I can't toss it now, that's tough. Guess we'll just get ready. If you surround big ones, they can't split apart. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That one's down, good. To try netting here in a minute. Okay, he's almost fully surrounded. Need one guy right here. Okay, he's fully surrounded now, so that's something. Oh, let's not move then. Okay, does casually have a net? Do they have quick hands? They do not have quick hands, though. Just go over here and try to kill this one, then. Okay, net. Okay, netting did something. Probably did not stop it from getting away, but it did, uh, it did effectively... Will probably kill its chance at... Spending a turn. Okay, I'd really like to be in here. Uh, I'm going to rotate over. I'm going to hit. I get here. I'm going to adrenaline. I'm going to try to get here. Look at the new guy doing that. What a gent, huh? Yeah, way to block it, new guy. 
Way to be. Hell yeah, you're dazed, partner. So I guess the tr trick on these, at least for the non-huge ones, is to try to get a surround on the combined unit. Very cool. My previous strat to this was different. It was more about just hanging back and then killing off the little ones. I like this a lot better. Okay, okay. I see. Sick. Uh, this is uh, hands down the best of free fight I've ever had. Yeah, that's right, Breakfast. If there was not if there was not units surrounding, that would have been three mediums coming out of the large one. Or two, rather. Okay, glittering rock. I was hoping for some sulfurish ash, but I'll also be very happy just having uh killed off the mirage sightings. Okay, there's no bandages here. Okay, now it's time to purchase the spices and the incense. Buy this rice as well. Alright, Ferris the Sutler. It's gonna name him Tricky Knight now, before I forget. All right, they're going to get a net in the inventory. Did my shield break there? It must have. Have a Sapar then. I don't have this. Well, <laughs> waffling. Here, you can have a kite shield. Alright, next. Check the armor now. Did Mirage sightings lower the price? Not really. Yo, Zefside High Tech. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Thank you so much. All right, I think we're going to go to Tarwa, but we're going to kind of do it the long way. I'm going to go check out up here. We're going to clear out this little section on our way over, and then we'll work on clearing this. And then I'll walk back up to Grafenhaven, and we'll take her from there. Could also check down here, but the likelihood of something being in this little region is really small. What's this? Is this the eight hyenas I was going to fight before? This is ten hyenas. You know what? I'm willing to fight ten hyenas here. Sign me up. All right, definitely going to step up here just to stop the hyenas from initiating on that. Wait. Wait. 
Yeah, that's the kind of reaction I was hoping to get. Very nice. Okay, you gotta wait. Gotta wait here too. Gotta wait. Okay, banner can move two and hit. Let's just move the banner here. Let's hit this one. You're going to step in between these two, or not. You got to wait. All right, let's step up and cleave. Yeah, Rain died to hyenas last time. We're going to do the exact same thing we did last time. Why not? Good one. Her time. All right, so I can probably kill this one. I'm gonna try to kill this one in one hit. It worked because this guy's set up to die. Very nice. All right, there's definitely more hyenas that are gonna initiate after the fact here, though we're off to a very good start for morale failure. Can't believe he did that to me, puppers. Okay, they're a nice straight line right now. The only downside here is going to be two turns to fix our initiation, so they could definitely get some uh, some action happening. Here. That. This would be a very nice spot to reap from. 64. I want to hit the outside line because he's on the weaker unit. Good. Yeah, Bobak, so the uh, the dog counts as a global kill. So the XP is distributed evenly between all of your bros. And you do have a loot chance from it as well. Wait. I'm gonna step in here. Okay, got one fleeing. All right, two fleeing. It's very good on the fleeing count. Me puppers, dude. Me puppers. Alright, Onos can't do anything unless he rotates in here. I can rotate and hit, or I can just swap to a two-hander and hit. I think swapping to a two-hander is better. Let's go here. Alright, I'm gonna step over one, and I'm gonna reap down the line. It was good. Busted right now, run him down. Haha, <laughs> Amphid's out of fatigue, fair. Well, that was a pretty ideal fight for 10 hyenas. Cool, we got some strange meat, and we got some more hyena furs, so another hyena mantle possible. Oh, speaking of Hyena Mantle, let's give this 200 armor the Hyena Mantle that we currently have. Extra durability and initiative? Sure thing. Awesome possum. Let's play. That's enough. OK, 
Okay. Now we're just going to clear this uh, last little bit of fog of war on our way down to Arwa. Yo, all right, all right. Heimwort Castle Ruins. Nobody got wrecked so bad that I'm not willing to fight here. Okay, Papa Neat leveled up. Nice job, Papa. Nice job. All right, I'm going to take the Fatigue here. I'm also going to take this Resolve while it's a decent roll. You are absolutely a student. Tricky Knight also here as student. Tricky Knight has what for stars? Yeah, that's right. Good, very good starting uh, melee and range defense. Four and four, yep. Just walk up here. Check out the Heimwork Castle Ruins. All right, we got auxiliaries here. All right, so what I want to do on this, I want to spread out into a big old long line and then let them initiate. I'm going to start by doing this. I'll wait on that. Fine. Wait. Alright, this guy can step back. I'm just going to put Zealousy right here, kind of towards the center. I haven't seen what's behind here. Okay, there's a Legionnaire. These guys are kind of top concern because their pikes do a lot of damage. This could be some good armor gets, though. 33. I'm going to fire, reload, and step back one. Spear wall. You know what? Casually, just start flanking. Let's wait and see what they do. Okay, they're initiating now. Good. Very good. Uh, do I step up or not? No, I don't. I'm going to wait here. Good. Sixty percent chance I'm in. Got some nice armor here, jeez. All right, now I can rotate around to the side of these guys because these are the ones that need to go. This is scary on this side. I don't have the armor prepared for this. Good start. Uh, definitely gonna go over here. Uh, he's gonna get him next round. Let's start moving down the line. Banner, 66, 48, 66, 76. That's the one. 
All right, we're going to start going down the line. It's not the best weapon to do so, but it's good enough. Nice. Great hit. Hey, have a great one, Marnik. Take it easy. Yeah. Do I even bother hitting here? I do. You gotta go. You gotta go. Alright, running up. I got a little bit sidetracked there on casually. That'll happen. 78? Hell yeah, dude. So when these pike guys get a turn to go, uh, I expect some pain coming my way. Okay, we're off to a very good start here, though. Hells yes. Hells yes. Still got three here. Does swapping to the whip give us an attack? No, it's four AP. Okay. Good to know. All right, let's get this guy locked in. What's Zealousy doing here? 22, 37. You know, I'm just going to block. As long as this guy goes down, we're good. Really the last of the big threats, I feel. Good, good. Doesn't mean we can't lose somebody here, but as soon as the pikes are down, we're a lot less vulnerable. Oh, wait. I feel like I should be shield uh, breaking the shields on a lot of these enemies, but it's like pretty darn good chance to hit. Hard to turn down a coin flip is all I'm saying. 37, 17, 17, 37. 56, 46, 56. You know who's been kicking ass? Uh, Tricky Knight here. With their, like, 46 melee ability. They've actually been getting hits pretty consistently. Surprising. Oh, there's a blockage right there. Yeah. I'll hit one of these days. Just you wait. There we go.
Most certainly, Gen B. Most certainly. Better lucky than good, always. This fight went exceptionally well. I honestly find auxiliaries to be a very terrifying enemy, especially when those legionnaires start lining up with pikes. Can get nasty real quick. Good haul. Did we get any of these plates? Okay, we didn't get any plates. We got some 130 helms. And we also got heraldic shoulder plates. Okay. Nice financial haul as well. Cool, this section of the desert is cleared. Doesn't mean stuff can't respawn here, but we've cleared the vision. Got a nice little swath. Five nomads. Yeah. Some outlaws. What's up, guys? Anything here I'm wanting? Now nah, these are all Southern Light Mail shirts. It's all pretty straightforward. I will just wait for their turn so they can hop up and I can bop some. The two-handed safes they got sell nice. Don't really want to step onto that guy. I'm gonna wait here. See what he does. All right, that's fair. Uh, this is more dangerous. Wait. I'll go here and shield block. Gonna go here and shield block as well. Ooh, he's shifty. Uh, let's hit safeman here or try to okay he broke right away dang okay I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna block I can push him off next round back let's start flanking here step two and fire Right, Amphid can move one here, and then I'll swap to the hook blade. This guy. Yeah, let's just prepare over here. Okay, there we go. We're good. Can't believe he broke so quick. Okay, he broke too. Dang. Now, are you having a bad time? That's a noggin bopping. Ooh. He swapped in to throw sand in both of our eyes. Dang. I'd be mad, but that's a real bold move. Good on you. I might as well surround this one. Okay, breaking. Okay, I'm gonna step in. I need to put somebody here eventually. Um, he can go there. Is he gonna try to run out this way? Oh, he did. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna be getting his armor then. That's fair. Run him down. I 
Bear flee, my good sir. Alright, Tricky Knight's got a level here. We got two two-handed safes and a 105 male. Alright. Certainly not bad. Let's set some stuff to repair here. What a great day for some bros. Are these even worth repairing? Uh, probably not, actually. Axes. Okay. Looks good. Might as well check out here if it's nighttime. Never mind. Okay, ambush, trade routes, good harvest. This is a good combination of things. Okay, I gotta buy at least two tools right now. We can sell off the strange meat. Uh, what else do I want to sell while we're at 22 shield? Uh, we're gonna sell off the ancient gold coins, the signet rings, the glittering rock. We're gonna sell off the saber tooths. Gonna sell off these crappy shields. Sell off one of these sapars. Gonna sell this can repair those for more profit. Sell these. Okay, those are getting repaired as well. Sell this. Alright, it's a beginning. Check out the bros here in Tarwa. Omar the Lucky. Let's see how lucky you are. How lucky are your rolls, sir? Alright, Day Tailor. Let's check him out. Uh, let's try out the Manhunter. What's he got here? Paranoid, but tough. Uh, you know, for a tank, Paranoid's not the worst uh, trait because they do get plus five melee defense. They just get less initiative, which is all right. Let's try out Musa al -Afan. All right, the, the beggar has a three-star fatigue, but starting at 85, that's tough. Uh, not a bad roll otherwise. Wasn't expecting much from you. And we didn't get too much. Alright, 48 starting melee with zero melee defense. Not good enough. And... Ooh. Not a bad roll here. Now, the fatigue's pretty bad. Oh man, the fatigue's actually terrible. I think that's a noper on that one. I like the 11 melee defense with 2 star, but it's really 6 melee defense with paranoid. 72 health is a, is a large amount of health. But 79 starting fatigue. What's the fatigue after I remove the clothes and weapon here? Okay, 92 starting fatigue. 94. All right, I can, I can work with Musa here. We'll get him we'll get him in the roster at some point. All right, Papa Nee's going to go for gifted here. All right, let's grab the natural 4 health. I'm going to grab a uh, 3 melee defense and melee attack. On gifted, you get the highest possible stat rolls not taking into consideration stars. 4 and Tricky Knight's going to grab Gifted 2. 3. 3. 4. 3. 3. And 3. 
Okay. All right, J Merc, I'm sorry. You're just you're traumatized, and you have eight team resolve. So, I'm gonna pay your compensation and tell you to have a nice day. Let's get uh, Musa Al Afan some actual gear here. Let's give you a one ten shirt. Give you a, a cool one forty helmet. And at 72 HP, I think I'm just gonna load him up as a tank here. Give yourself a boar spear. Yep, cool. What's going on with this? Just cut arms in you fine. Okay. Now that we've cleared out our, our inventory, let's do a little save arousal. Check out what's at the arena today. Three nachos. Okay, I accept. Who's gonna fight three nachos here? I'll say Amphit is. Let's say Zealousy and we'll put Rain in there. And we'll go for Great Axe, in fact. Let's do that. And 60 is not the best melee for the Great Axe. Oh well. I'm actually just going to start with the net out. Yeah, let's do that. Yo, Shindy, thanks for 39 months. Wagner, thanks for 77. And Danny Boy, 889, thanks for three months. Doing awesome, thank you. Hope you're having a great one, too. Oh, wow, these are still super cheap, even though it's ambush. That's crazy. I'll take it. I'll take it. Check it out. So later game, these notches are real nasty. Okay, it's only one level three. Last time I had this, it was two. I'm going to end my turn here. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to back up one. Might even net here and then... Never mind. Here. Okay, so they chose to wait their turn, but they did. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go ham on this guy. Okay, I'm going to step up. I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait here too, and then I'm going to toss the net on you and step up here. Let's see where these level twos go. That's fair. Okay, so I can do the round swing, or I can do the regular swing. I think I'm going to do the regular swing and just adrenaline. Very nice hit. Yo, glad to hear that, Mr. Caliber. Glad the stream provides you with some good background noise. Awesome. I'm going to rotate out here. Okay, Big Nacho can literally slap down one of our guys here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's all slimy. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, that went really good.
Okay, last question. Have we sold everything that we want to here before the sell event's done? We definitely don't need a 95 helm, and I really think that these 130 extra fatigue helms are a little outdated right now. Sell this broken pike. Let's sell this off too. Uh, not you. This is getting their Sapar back. I just hired a new guy, right? You need a tiny knife on hand. There you go. What's this quest? Oh, really? Uh, let's talk money real quick. I'm trying to think about that. I'm going to go out into the desert and just search here for a minute. I would love to unambush the route so I can get a better price here, but... That may not be a reality for quite a while. go here we go 15 of freets not interested eight nomads though what is it going on okay one slinger one archer few cutthroats few outlaws great All right, these guys do have a ranged deal. I'm going to see if they charge me, though. They might. It's not a fortification. So I think the odds of them stepping up is a little bit higher here. Apparently not. All righty, then. Okay, he stepped up one. <laughs> That's a great way to use your fatigue in the early game. Just, you know, swap people around. Appreciate that, guys. I'm not sure exactly why they're not charging here, and I'm fine with it. It's just interesting. Go in here. You're going to slide in here. Nineteen thirteen. You know, if I can get over on this side onto the rock, we could be doing some really good work with the crossbow. How about you step over here just to protect my crossbow guy, and then Zealousy will step right front and center. Okay, I'll go to the side here as well. I can swap to my two-hander if I need to. Somebody's having a bad time. Frickin' Sapars are so good, man. I'm rushing this guy. He's actually gonna come up with, uh, he's gonna roll back with this if I do that. Let's go here. I'm waffling, watch out.
Well, that was convenient. All right, Bobak, you know, nice try, bud. Nice try. I'm actually going to step here so the Great Axe can step up. 10% chance to hit. I'll just take it. Let's kill the weak one. Ooh. 18 to hit. I'll take that. Ooh, brave, brave man. Looking like a surround and get armor to me. 47 to hit. I just couldn't turn it down. I'm just going to block here. Um, I'm actually going to swap and then try to hit you. Yeah. Going towards the archer. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's try this. Elusive has quick hands. You're going to swap to a tiny knife and start stabbing this guy? What do you mean you don't like when I stab you? That's weird. He's busted. Darn. Alright, let's lock this guy in here. Just hit him already. Oh, 26% chance to hit, or... Just straight up decapitate my man. Dang. Vicious. Alright, let's step up and hit this guy. Or not. Tiny knife. Tiny knife. Tiny knife. Good chunk, good chunk. Hell yeah. Your armor now belong to me. Oh, that's a really cool tip. I've had that uh, that event once, Brixie. So you're saying if you kill the nomads and then flee from the freeze, it still counts as the quest completion. <laughs> that's that's a handy piece of information. Very cool. All right, cool, cool. Hey, we've got a couple of scimitars here. Scimitars sell really well. These are like a couple hundred gold each, even though I'm not going to use them. See if we can find some more stuff in the desert here. Set these to repair. Yep. Uh, is this worth repairing? It's 17, it's worth 70. So this means it's worth about 150 when it's fully repaired. Sure. Sign me up, bud. Sign me up. Okay, the nomads are coming from here, so I'm actually going to head this way because it seems like they'd be coming from a camp. It'd be a likely circumstance. There's one. Some nomad cutthroats, a few nomad outlaws. Let's go. Pretty sick little adventure we got here into the desert. These guys will 100% walk up on us. 
That's a hundo. So we can just wait. No archers here means that. Okay, so that's three. I'll just wait here and see if they run up that way. All right, step it, pep it. They did not enjoy the step pepping. Lock that in. Stab this guy, why not? Step here. Can I reap? No, not quite. Look at that little melon just hanging out there. Dang. Wounded to the alt here. Okay, so I already busted his helmet, but his armor is fully intact. Okay. Let's wait here. I mean, I'm feeling like maybe I can lock him in. Oh, yeah, he's locked. Uh, Mr. Longbonker hasn't made a move yet. He's wearing a 65 armor nomad robe. Not too concerned about his his armor set. The key knight does not have a tiny knife. Bad day to be a nomad, dude. A uh, rapscallion that is specific to this starting uh, origin, the peasant militia. It's special is that you can take up to 16 units into combat. No problem. Great question, bud. Thanks. Very fair question, because it is 12 for all other um, faction types, or all other origins have a 12 maximum in combat. Some even have a 12 maximum total, gladiators and lone wolf, maybe one other. Got him. All right, so we got the 105 mail there. We got the long bonker as well. Oh, we got salt. Salt's worth like 500. We just wait to sell it. That's great. Where was that? Here, here. Is there actually more down here? Okay, that's the end of the line. Okay, I did miss a little section here, which I'll clean up eventually. Right now, though, let's just clear down here and then head back to Tarwa before the end of the next day so we can do another arena and uh, call this good. Okay, there's those 15 of freeze. See, 15 of freeze don't seem to want to fight me, which is good. Not interested either. You guys just have a wonderful time roaming the desert. Good job. Okay, only one camp out there is uh, tough. Is this going to be... What is this? Hunt down what terrorizes Tarwa. I need some time to think about that. This one is a merchant, which I was going to do anyways. 
Need some time to think about that as well. Let's check out the arena. Two gladiators, I'm good. Me good. The ambush trade routes are stopping me from getting trade goods here, which is rough. In fact, all three of the towns had ambush trade routes, so I was unable to stock up on trade goods. Uh, as an interesting note about this seed on the map, there's no furs anywhere on the map, even in the northern half. I thought this was going to be a really good trading seed, but it kind of turned out not to be. It's been a good seed overall, though. I think we're kind of, like, ready for a hunt down what terrorizes, though. Even if it is the Ifrits, we'll probably still pull it off. I'm going to buy one more tool. I'm going to sell off any junk I have. I'm going to sell off these scimitars, hell yeah. 221 apiece, like that. Okay, Tricky Knight did not have a tiny knife. Let's fix that. Tricky Knight was you. Where's Tricky Knight? The hell? There you are. I think these two-handed safes still have a purpose. Like, I can... Put these on the two-handed guys with quick hands and then swap into a one-hand if I need to. As an idea. Yep, Necronoth is exactly what happened on our last uh, playthrough. The traders, we had like a really beautiful loop and one of the towns had a salt mine and a gym mine. Was very, very good. Though we're doing great on money. I got 25k on hand right now. That's not like a small amount of cash. Alright, this is done. This is done. This is done. I'm going to keep two of these here. I'll sell one Sapar. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell these. I'm going to sell off those as well. I'm going to keep the Jester hat for right now, because I can. Definitely don't need those or that. Okay, we've got 45 inventory spots. That's not bad. Alp Trophy Necklace. Let's give this back to Zealousy. That's his thing. Get some above 40. Okay, we got a, we got a Puppers here. Amphid gets a Puppers. Yeah, I think the Gem Mine is a, is a rare spawn overall. I've yet to see iron. I've got plenty of copper, but never seen an iron mine, even though I have almost 200 hours now. Maybe the iron just uh, is for supplying armors or something. Buy one more tool. Okay, salt selling for 506 here. Now's our time. Let's buy this cheap food as well. We're going to need it. Uh, I'm going to buy the mass cured rations, even though they're slightly overpriced. I'm going to buy two bandages as well. Is the alchemist selling an antidote? He is. Okay, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to do a quick save, then we're going to check out what hunt, hunt down what terrorizes. It's a three star. I'm guessing it's a freeze. Okay, here's footprints. Could be like 14 serpents or something, too. Here they go. They're coming back. What? 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 Where are the tracks? What's going on here? The hell?
13 serpents. All right, uh, let's go ahead and replace the crossbow guy with the long axe here. I think I'm going to do that on both. Crossbows just aren't very effective on snakes. Okay, cool. So iron just means cheaper tools. Makes sense. Going to wait here and see what the snakes do. Greetings, snakemans. You know, they stepped in as such a way that I can I can initiate on them. But I'm thinking backing up two makes more sense. Let's do that. The snakes can move one and then grab from two tiles away, is my understanding. We're going to be very careful of our spacing as the initiation happens. They're certainly going to grab somebody and pull them to the back of the line. I'd like that to be one of my tankier characters. In fact, uh... Maybe Zealousy is going to stand here. Let's do that. See what they do. Okay. Maybe should have tightened my line a little bit too. Well, we'll find out soon. Okay, that's not bad. Mm, I shouldn't have done that yet. These back snakes still have moves. Oh. Guess I locked him out. I'm gonna go here and wait. Yep, okay. Oh, man, he's in there. He's in the thick of it now. Roll down here. Okay, that's not a bad person to go back there, though we'll see. All right, they're really pulling back. It's kind of very hard to avoid when you have lots of snakes. Um, I mean, somebody's going to be get pulled back. Ow. Oh, hell, I got a round swing with the great axe here. This is awesome. That's cool. Let's do that. I'm going to release my puppers now, too. If we need that little bit of extra. I'm going to turn the health bars on here real quick. Good. I'm going to continue adrenalining because I think that getting ahead on this fight is really the only way. But we got to start some sort of cascade here. We're in big trouble. Ow. Oh, noes. Oh, noes. Does he get to do the round swing is the big question. No. Damn. 
Let me try this with a slightly different initiation. How do you guys like to start with snakes? I've tried a few different things, and I don't feel any of them have been terribly successful. Like, not bad, but... Backing up two doesn't seem to be very effective, so they just continue spacing um, in a way that's disadvantageous. Okay, he's stunned. That's good. Yeah, he's back there. Yeah, the pull really does mess up your plans as far as initiation. Maybe just rushing in there is not a bad idea. Or perhaps um, running in with your best melee defense guys to try to get them pulled back. An idea. If we only lose Onos here, I'm definitely all right with it. Onos is a good bro, and he was my Great Axe bro, but his fatigue was really inferior compared to some of my other characters. And he's high enough level that fatigue is just never going to be... It's never going to be there. Um, Who's got turns left? Go here. Some good ideas in chat there. Thanks for sharing those. Appreciate it. I'm going to go for a stun here, too. Okay, we got back-to-back -back stuns. Apparently, Mythic Applesauce wants to live. So as cruel as it may sound, we're kind of at the point of the run with, with our bros that uh, bros that we started with that had kind of bad stats were willing to let die. Not that we really have a choice if they die in combat or not. We could always reload the saver, something similar, but if we're losing one of our original bros which had pretty bad stats and we can then replace them with a higher that has better stats that's certainly to our advantage go here and stab ow yes exactly Nekaroth that's right A lot of the starting bros were just not meant for the late game. Is the bottom line. Alright, the toggle is back off. We're set now. Okay, you're done. He's down, nice. He's down, nice. Nice. Yep, underdog is the perfect perk when they're surrounded like that. You're right. I don't think Ono's had that. All right, Ono survived with a weakened heart. You know, honestly, weakened heart is something they can work with. We can toss them in the back row. They're not to be replaced right this moment. Back to Tarwa. All right, where's Ono's right now? Somebody else going to be Great Axe, dude. They even had three-star fatigue, but their starting fatigue was really, uh, really bad. Let's start repairing this. Yeah, at level 9 with 105, that's pretty gnarly. 
Though they good enough here with 68, I can toss like I don't know, let's say uh, a long axe or something on. Let's give them a pike right now, and we'll just downgrade them to this for the moment. Who is worthy of the great axe up front here? Let's go ahead and give Mythic Applesauce the uh, great axe now. Also, somebody else deserves this armor. Let's just give it to Tricky Knight. You can have 44 fatigue, sure. Give you the long axe. Okay, Clark, so you're saying at 110 fatigue, you can have your bro stand there and be able to swing the big weapon every turn? Is the gist of it? So, Ono's is almost there. Uh, so he can be fatigue neutral in the back row. So he can, He's a good two-hander guy now. It's fair. All right, let's level up here. Two. I'll take two if I see it. Step one and swing at 110. Thanks for that uh, idea. Appreciate that. I'm going to give him quick hands as well. Uh, he's just going to grab a net. All right, Lulu P has quick hands. Oh, yeah, four roll here, three. Ooh, Lulu P has gotten some really nice levels here. Just give you a second net. Actually, I'll throw an antidote on you for now. All right, your face got ripped off. Let's go ahead and replace you with an archer here. Lupi needs a perk too, huh? All right, so fatigue neutral usually uses weapon mastery. Thank you. Still very much learning builds in this game. Give you a... Go Colossus here. Okay, we've got a pretty good um, connection here. We cleared out all of this. We also cleared out most of this. On the way up to Grafenhaven to do this escort quest um i am going to clear out this last little area looks good shirt i clear out this little peninsula too because i can I could also just go to Wasserkook here and then sail up to Grafenhaven. I think that's what I'll do. This is definitely crossable. Okay. Some Nomad Cutthroats, a few Nomad Outlaws. Let's just keep the combat going. Okay, you're on 26 right now. Let's just do this. Anybody else armor messed up too bad from that snake fight? Number is pretty all right. I'm at 15 to 16. Hold up. Who's missing here? Yeah, armor's pretty bad. Health's bad here. Health's bad here. I'll just, I'll just roll Billy up, Mr. Bill Hook. All 
Ooh, I'd love to get these three-handed flails. Three-handed flails are really, really good weapon. Hello, friend. Cut out here. Yeah, so I got this idea for my next playthrough. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit silly, but I think I'm going to do it. Uh, on the perks, I'm going to give everybody nine lives and basically a bunch of mobility perks. Uh, I, I'm feeling that on uh, this origin specifically that having quick hands on most people is very, um, very important. Just so you can uh, have some flexibility of when you can hit and when you can't. Okay, I'll wait here. Oh, yeah, okay, let's fire this. Nope, fair enough. Okay. Just going to step up. LSC is going to step in here. I think one really cool thing about this game that I appreciate is uh, I've watched a fair bit of streams of this game now, and there's so many different strategies that people use, and all of them have their own merits, right? There's a lot of different uh, successful perk builds that you can do. It's not like you have to take this perk every time. Everybody has their preferences, of course, but uh, there really is a large variation in the possibilities of things you can choose. Definitely certain perks synergize better uh, with each other than others. But I like that people use such a wide variety of strategies. Busted. Uh oh, they're collapsing. More salt, and we did get a three handed flail. It's a big weapon. All right, let's continue clearing this out on our way to Grafenhaven. Well, actually, on our way to Wasserkug. Listen here, Dr. Love Wizard, you're just being paranoid, all right? This. The footsteps disappeared? The hell? Maybe that's a despawn from the camp I just killed? Had to be, right? Hey, remnants of long past. Do a quick save here and check out the remnants of long past. All right. Seems like a place a leader might live. Also, it's going to take a stab in the dark that they have some archers, so I'm just going to step up. I'll wait on this guy. Oh, yeah, there's the archers. Ugh. I 
was an interesting little shuffle he did there. Right, two-handed safe versus two-handed safe. Okay, just an outlaw here. It does not look like there's going to be a... A leader. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No leader. Any armors here I care about? Nah, this guy's got the best armor down here at 105. Everybody else is at that 65 or lower. I'm going to step up here. Kind of a dangerous spot for my banner, but it's the spot I chose. Twenty percent chance. Throw it out there. Lap it out. Right, Zealous is going to step right here. I'll go here then. That's right. He's got a maimed foot. I keep forgetting. Remembering every time that happens. If I go here, this should cause some issues with the AI. Um, they're going to want to defend the archers. They don't have a good way to do that right now. Whoa, buddy. Can you not step up and chop my face? I'd appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Or is it my turn now? Oh, the old swap aroni. Axe guy is definitely my priority here. Mm, stepping up and hitting him would have been even better. Okay, stepping two, firing in. Right here is where I want to be. Cool. He's kind of hurting here. Step two, fire, nice. Um, I'm actually, no, stabbing. This guy's going to be a real son of a gun, you can just tell. A 80% chance to hit, love that. Step it and pep it. Oh, there's a guy right here. Whoops. I goofed. This could be a very painful round when this guy goes. Oh. Way to block that with your head. I'm actually going to step over to here and hit this guy. There we go. Great axe miss. That'll happen. That'll happen too. He bleeding. All right, cool. We can get in here then. 
Unbelievable. Alright, I'm just gonna step over here and get ready for the next round. This guy is a blocking machine. Alright. Just hit him with the... the axe already. Yikes. Probably just bust these guys' shields already. Damn. Alright, there we go. Now we're on the archers. Can we hit this guy? Jeez. Almost seems like we can't. Dead. Okay, he's broken now. It's actually the guy with the good armor, so maybe uh, we'll step in here. <laughs> do I need to throw a net on this fellow? Because it kind of feels like I do. Oh, it doesn't have quick hands, son of a gun. I tried. Okay, he's surrounded. He's going to swap to a knife here. Stabbing. Stabbing. Let's throw a net on this guy. There we go. Listen here, bud. Okay, no more, uh, no more knifing. What I just learned. Guys, gotta go. Gotta go. It's good. Finally. Hoping that was gonna break him. Didn't quite. There we go. I actually don't want to step out of the way here. I want to swap to the dagger and stab this guy. Might as well get his armor if we're here and everybody's busted anyways. Run him down. Well, it is one noise you can make when you bleed. Bleeding's done now. Got him. Alright, Bobat got a level here. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, look at this. Look at this loot haul. That's a nice one. I'm definitely not leaving these behind. 
I mean, technically, these will get pulled in when the other stuff does, but I want to make double sure. Not leaving no silverware behind. Okay. Cool, we discovered another camp. Let's walk to... I feel like walking to Wasserkoog is going to be better. Or faster, rather. Oh, never mind. It's down here. We're going to Grafenhaven then. I take it back. Okay, can I not get attacked by nine hyenas? Thanks. Maybe I want to attack nine hyenas, however. Okay, you're too injured for hyenas. You're feeling a little better now. Good. Uh, how you doing? 63, just have a pierced cheek. Okay, you can get back in there. Somebody got injured in that fight. Who was it? You don't look so good on armor. Let's go in here. Bowback is... Leveled up. Here we go. This character is not going to be awesome as far as range skill goes, but their job is really going to be being a medic overall. Is how I see it. Bags and belts. Let's go for dodge here. Let's go for pathfinder. Hmm, a bit of a yikes on the terrain. Let's see what they do. here. Okay, this guy does not have Pathfinder. Not even close. Unless he can lock that up. Go ahead and go uh, here. Spear wall too. This makes it very complicated for them to initiate where you belong. Spare. Oh, they're all going to go north, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Okay. Trouble awaits. I should have let them do their whole turn here. Ooh, that is scary. Right. He's going to start swinging back this way then. I'm in trouble. Really just a bad initiation by me more than anything. Oh, 
Oh, I got all the way around. Dang. Let's just hit here. Try to step up. Okay, are you dead? Who is this? Extrusive? Extrusive stats. Extrusive is pretty decent for level 7. Might be able to rotate him out. We'll see. He's definitely dead next round if I don't. I think something I've learned today is I need to develop a better plan for fighting uh, hyenas. Okay. Intentional. We were at on health here. Pretty good. Well, he doesn't look very good, but. Somebody else have bandages. Maybe. Um. Yeah, there's no way here. I have bandages in my inventory. All right, let's try this one more time. This time I'm not going to completely mess up the initiation. I think what I should do instead of trying to... Uh, Instead of trying to step into the hyenas, I should probably actually condense my line backwards and make more of a circle. Or a half circle. Okay, we do got a decent high ground bit here. Let's just back up. This way, if somebody gets wrecked in the the front line, I can rotate them back and get the bandage on them. Seems a plan. Like right here, I want to dive in, but I'm going to wait instead. Let's get here. Yeah, I turned off always health bars today. Gonna see how that is. Okay, let's go here and spear wall. There we go. Waiting. Get this guy back here. Zealous, so you can stand there. You can stand here. See what they do. Okay, they're trying to super flank here. Very interesting. Wow, they went all the way for the flank. Seems like a great spot to stand and hit stuff.
All right, Great Axe and these two can finish off these two right here. Very good. Oh, they're going all the way around. All right. Respect that. Okay, one down. I'm going to step down here so this guy can walk through. Very interesting to me they didn't fully initiate here. Alright, let's step here and do the stab through. Missed. I'm going to step in here to lock these three in, or not. Uh, I'm going to release puppers here. Scary times to be a pepperonis. Let's go, let's go here, in fact. All right, Zealousy is going to step into this spot for now. You're going to step in here. Okay, we got a decent line. Like, it's mostly one-on-one, -on -one, except for Amphid, who is dead center here. It's all right. Great time for the swing here. Hell yeah. No. Dude, Puppers is a hero right now. Hell yeah, Puppers. Hell yeah, puppers. Okay, I can hit and then rotate. Or I don't need to rotate. Never mind. Let's make room for Sword Lance, though. Actually, we'll rotate in here. That'll make it even easier. Swap to hook blade. 72, 73. Go here. I think Amphid's the most damaged character I got right now. dead. Don't you dare do that to me, puppers, dude. Don't you dare. Okay, we got some breakage right now on these hyenas. Smarter move is stepping in here. Oh, well. Do it now. Alright, he's broken. Okay, we got one unbroken hyena.
All right. Hell yeah. Okay, we got three furs here. That's awesome. Three furs means we can build another hyena mantle. Let's go here, here, and here. Yo, Dead Beef Cafe, thanks for 14 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks a lot. Violet TF2, thanks for 56 months. Sorry for missing you earlier. And Torpedo Bench, thanks for 86. Thank you. Browns well deserved, I guess. Okay, what's our market here right now? It's not bad. 487 for salt is a good price. Goat cheese is selling well here too. I can afford to sell one goat cheese. Our shield is at 21. 21 shields, a nice time to sell some stuff off. I definitely don't need four safes. Also, this mace is outdated. How about instead of hooked blades on the archers, we have better replacements. Let's give them each a pike. And I think it's time to sell off hooked blades. We got oodles of two-handers. Oodles. Oh, hey, you can have, um... Let's give Amphit a long bonker. A little stun utility. That's nice. All right, Petey the Nimble. We got Killing Frenzy. What else does Petey have going on? 77 melee skill. That's that's an all right, bro. Not bad, not bad. What are the remaining perks I'm going to get here? Well, quick hands is always nice. Let's give him a berserk, though, so we could possibly hit twice with him. All right, a glacia. Not bad. Two here and four. I don't know what I want to do with the sword lance. I'm just going to grab Colossus here to make him safer. Trusive. Three here. Trusive's level eight. They had three star melee, but... It didn't end up being the tankiest bro in the world. That's all right. Grab quick hands. All right, Musa is going to get a name here. Hell yeah. Yo, Biscuit Burner, thanks for six months. Appreciate that, dude. So many cool people here today. Appreciate all the generosity. Thank you most of all for the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Not names, named. All right, student it up. Tricky Knight. He's got levels. Tricky Knight's turning out to be a pretty decent uh, tanky bro. His melee skill is not really awesome, but it's it's working on it. I'm going to go for the natural four morale here. Oh, let's give you Colossus too. You need to level up. Right, three melee defense. Three and three. All right, I got to sell some stuff here. How much are tools right now? There's no ambush trade routes. 378 for tools. Why? Why? So expensive. Still going to buy two sets of tools. Sell off a couple of these. Sell this. Need to repair those. Safe's gone. These are gone. Definitely don't. These. Alright, I probably don't need this many 105 males. Sell off all but two of those. 
Okay, massively cured rations is selling for a profit. Strange meat selling for a profit too. Buy some slightly expensive fish to replace those. Definitely didn't cut into our profit margin at all. I could probably do Serpent Skin Mantle and Hyena Mantles here very soon. This is a good enough time to sell these. Yes, putting bandages on some bros is a good idea. Thanks. I think I have those in inventory. I do. All right, pun intentional. You go ahead and take a bandage as well. Bobak has it. Let's give our some of our shields bandages here. I'll organize this later. Okay, repair this, repair these, repair these, please, and that. These need repaired. These don't. I can sell those, in fact. Very good. Okay, I don't need this many shields, not even close. Alright, that solves our inventory for the moment, kind of. Uh, temple can kind of heal injuries. It makes them heal faster. So after you treat them, they're guaranteed to heal within a set amount of time. Hey, Ludger's here. Let's try out Ludger. What do you got, dude? Three star initiative. Nah, that ain't it. Let's check out Bertolf. It's going to hire a couple fishermen here. Well, neither of these guys are it. Oops, I meant to compensate him, but I didn't. Sorry, bud. Let's see what these quests are. One star quest uh, to Felsberg. Let's talk money real quick. Take a look on the map real fast and figure out where armories are. Okay, so there is a workshop in Felsberg. We pick up cheap tools there, potentially. Probably do that when we're going to go back down and then cut through to Azim shop through the uh, ear rather than sail. Give me just one second here. Just going to use the restroom real fast, then we'll continue.
All right, thanks for your patience there. Check out this two-star Kaltenbach. Talk money real quick. Okay, where is Kaltenbach? Kaltenbach is right here. Okay. Wouldn't be terrible to cut across here and get this revealed, huh? Get to Kaltenbach. We can check out back here as well. All right, before we go and do this quest, I'd really like to hit up Wasserkug for some tools, but I think I'm just going to buy some more expensive tools right here. We're going to come back here eventually and buy some fish. Good enough for now. I do want to do quests here so we can get better reputation with this main port town. This is a good place to sell stuff off. And having allied status would just result in even more money. Let's take this uh, this contract to Felsberg. It's not like we need that, but I can get more tools in Felsberg. And if I'm going to go on a little adventure on the side of the map, then having tools is pretty important. Could even consider walking through here to get to Azim Shab. Okay. Hey, Felsberg has an armor, and we're well supplied right now. I'm sure we're going to buy this $26,000 armor. Maybe not. Worth $11,000. Cost twenty-six. dollars ah, That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Some decent armors here, though. Decent armors indeed. Okay, Weaponsmith, what do you got? Okay, what's this? Gladiator's War Mace. Sixty to seventy-five. Fifty-two ignore armors. Fifty-two percent of damage ignores armor. Okay. This also looks super good. Nine fatigue greatsword. Okay. Okay, pull mace is at 60 to 75 normally. 40% ignores armor. So the roll on this isn't very good. It's just basically better ignoring armor. not convinced that champion slayer is what i want two-handed hammer is not it either i want the two-handed pole hammer warhammer would be nice for one of our tanks okay these are repaired now let's go i'm gonna sell off one of these sell these Okay, let's hire Robert the Mountain. Actually, look at all these shepherds. Let's do a, a shepherd pull here. In fact, I'm going to hire all of the bros here. Every last one. I'm looking for range guys, and a farmer could be all right, too. Seems like a good use of our cash. All right, 56 two-star melee, but only 82 fatigue. You're out of here, Robert the Mountain. Oh, he's the mountain because he's fat. Okay. 32. Oh, hey, this is a... This is a farmer, bro. 54 melee, one star there. Probably not. I probably need, at least need a star inside of melee right now to make that work. Alright, this guy's pants as well. Forty-seven range skill start is not not too bad. Stars aren't in very good places though. 
All right, what do you got? No, it's not nothing. I think I'm gonna buy some armor right now. It's not the best price ever, but let's go ahead and pick up a 210 here. Let's pick up a uh, footman's armor as well. Oakley Doakley. Casually can grab the uh, footman's armor. Gonna throw this reinforced male halbrick onto you. Gonna give you this armor. Okay, now I'm floating to 130, but this guy's nimble. I guess it's still a reduction, even with better armor. It's still getting HP reduction. Yeah, 51% hit point. I'm seeing nimble in a different light now. Alright, who deserves this 140? I'd say tastefully named probably will work with that. Uh, guy in chat, most of our money on this run has come from doing quest and repairing gear, though I have done a little bit of trading. This seed for having six ports is actually pretty bad for uh, is pretty bad for trading. There's no furs anywhere on the map. Some other complications as well. Basically on this map I rolled it and I was like, oh my god, six ports, that's the most I've ever seen. Got port here, 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 and these two. But the top section of the map is disconnected from everything else. That's tough. Okay, our option now would be to go down to Azim Shab, clearing out this little section of desert, looking for a fight, or we could go back to Grafenhof and take that quest, uh, sail up to Blankhoom, and then go up to Kaltenbach. As a secondary option, uh, we can go to Grafenhaven, take the quest, we can go to Burgau, Thunset, and Wasserkug, sail to Jaden Sea, walk to Blankhoom, then go to Kaltenbach, uh, hoping to pick up the amber that spawned there, and then get it on the way back, too. I think since we're already here, I'm going to work on this side. I also just saw a tavern thing saying to the southeast there was... Uh, a place. Okay, there it is. That's the spot. Okay, there's another one here. No, many nomad outlaws, nomad archers. So I'd rather take this one at night. Armored wider gangers and nachos. All right, dude. I'm down with this. Does anybody else belong back in here? You know, this is fine. The bros are looking good. I think I'm actually going to take out one of these tanks. Let's take out... Okay, you got the 180 on? Maybe not. 190, 180, 170. I'm going to drop him out. We'll roll Zealousy back to this side, and I'll put him in. Well, this is going to be a battle, that's for sure. I'm 
Okay, it's only 10 Whiter Gingers. There's also Nachos, too, so not, there's not going to be that much resurrection here. Could even be a decent spot to pick up armor. That's a hat that's uh, 215, I think. Going to let them initiate to me here, though. Several padded armors. 58, 58... It really is cheeky while it's a great track. The game's music is spectacular. Okay, you know, close within two feet. Okay, those are the nachos. They're waiting to like flank, I think. Gonna let him step up here. There we go. There we go. Ooh, Amphid set up for that round swing big time. Step here. Almost surprised there was no, like, uh, Necromancer or other shenanigan that appeared here. Step in. Yo, what's up, Nacho? Um, do I need to go in here? No, but there's no reason not to. Oh, it's just a little feller. A little feller. I'm going to back up so the other axe can step in. 83, 73, here we go. Uh, I'm actually going to step in. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting here. Oh, that was the end of the turn. Okay. I get it now. What a monstrous hit by Amphid. step him in. Interesting. Nachos are having a relatively rough time right now. Step up one, we'll quick hands into a pike. Nice one, bow back. This guy's a little concerning. I really got a hit off on this guy, fair enough. Could have rotated in there as well, but I didn't. Step in. I'm gonna step around so I can swap quick hands next turn if available. Each turn, there's going to be some resurrections, but there's not enough Whiter Gangers that's going to be overpowering us in any way. Not even close. Oh, Amphid's way out of position now. Fair. You need a little breather anyways.
He busted. Fair, fair play. Almost dead. Okay, he's not coming back. We know that because he no longer has a noggin, and only the fallen hero tier of Whiter Ganger can come back from decapitation that way. Alright, that was a pretty easy fight. I enjoyed it. Was it 215? 115. Okay, those hats sucked. I get it now. Okay, so there's like a whole valley here that's not part of the desert. That's interesting. I'm here to clear the desert, however. Yep, they enjoy all that food I bought. You're welcome. Interesting mountain range here. This will be easy enough to clear out on our way uh, to Hikma or back. Actually, I got time here to look at this. Only afternoon. Okay. Yo, Ancient City's dope. That's uh, cartographer fuel. Okay, let's go here. I think we're going to make the camp before daybreak. That's what I want. Not like a big camp, but prefer not to fight archers in the daytime right now. Okay, it's dawn. Morning then. Okay, a few nomad archers, we can do that. Okay, nomad outlaws are not like a jokey tier of uh, enemy. We've got to be careful here. Hey, Chris Chamber 64, thanks for typing that out in chat. Some good information about the nachos. Thank you. As always, uh, you're more than welcome to share anything about the mechanics of any game that we're playing. Uh, we're all here to play and learn together, and I appreciate uh, the input very much. I would not be half the game player I am without all of the amazing feedback people give me uh, about various strategies, mechanics, etc. Thanks for making this a one-of-a-kind place online to learn about and improve at video games. Awesome feels. Forty, thirty-nine, twenty. Let's fire this guy. I've got an innate dislike for the long bonker because it can stun me. I guess we're just going to step in here. Mr. Mamefoot doing it again. Should probably rotate out the Mamefoot guy. Twenty-seven, twenty-six, but twenty-six. Did I accidentally end his turn? No, he's just really slow right now. Fair. And they really don't want to improve their position, which is fine by me, but also a little awkward, huh? Because what happens when I show up right here? Uh-oh. It okay, blocks movement, but not sight, so we can hit over these with the long axes. Good. Ouch, dude. Lulu P's too low level to be getting slammed by arrows like that. Ha, 
pocket sand. Classic nomads. Pocket sanding. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's cutting time. Um, I'm going to step here and then hit. And then I'm going to adrenaline and probably step here and hit him. If I had to guess. Off with his head. Bear. There's nobody to hit right now. Back up here, I guess. Big Hammer is probably the most dangerous weapon on the battlefield for them right now. Scimitar is pretty nice damage, too, and Long Bonker, but we doing good. There we go. There we go. We're on the archers now. Chip choppins. That was a cool maneuver he did. I like that. Just showing off his footwork for everybody. in here. I think breaking this guy will be easier than uh, getting past the Sapar. Freaking Sapars, dude. Didn't mean end his turn, but here we are. We did it. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're broken now. He's also broken. Let's step behind the archer. No, let's finish this guy off. Somebody else can step behind the archer. They're not broken yet, so it gives us a little more maneuvering time. The fortitude on Mr. Longbonker is impressive. But he's still here trying. Not even remotely broken yet. No, he's broken now. Permanently. Alright, cut off the archer. I'm going to go for the double cut off here. Somebody else can block this guy. No one assailant. Thank you so much for 81 months. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you. Dead. Oh, he's going the other way. I mean, I can't blame the guy, but dang. Alright, we're gonna catch him, though. Gonna step up, gonna swap to the pike. You're not going anywhere.
Okay, he legit just can't run anywhere now. Run him down. Okay, right on, dude. Cool beans. Alright, this is pretty high value. That, the food and stuff will get pulled into inventory, so if I just put a few items back, should be fine. Stupid hat. Put a couple slings. Don't put the tiny knife back in a sling. Good enough. Works for me. Alright, down to Azim Shab. Well, that was a nice little adventure out of uh, out of Felsberg. Discovered two fighting locations. Wicked. Yo, seasonal fare. More recruits, more medical supplies, more food. Peddlers are more likely to be available for hire. Interesting. Looks like we sell for less, though. Why is everything so darn expensive all the time? I just want to restock on trade goods game. What's our shield evaluation? 24? Okay, this is definitely the time to sell stuff off. 142 for that goat cheese we just bought. Sell it off. Okay, I did get a fire grenade. That's a nice piece of equipment. Uh, I'm going to sell off these 105s now. I think we're quite past the 105 area. 110 is the minimum now. Oh, look. It's the hats from all those guys I fired. Neat. Okay, 115. Actually, this 115 kettle hat will be nice on an archer. Oh, it's all the same. I am going to hold on to the kettle hat, though. You sell and buy at 25% more. Yeah, that's a great way to put this, uh, this event. Okay, I'm just going to clean up inventory. I would love to have this stuff a little more repaired, but at the same time, I mean, it's the right price. We use a shield that has a base cost of 100 to evaluate the market here. Is good. Okay, is there a taxidermist here? No. 57,000? Only 27 fatigue for a 350 is pretty good. I'll give you that one. Walter the Pickpockets headpiece. Neat one. Check out these recruits, huh? Try out Tostig here. Nope. Try out Gunner. Uh, paranoid two-star melee? Nah. Got enough paranoid dudes. Alright, let's try this out. Alright, he's bright with fatigue and one star. I'm gonna try out Hartwig the Snake, because I like your face, sir. Let's try out Ulrich here. Nah. Fury? Okay, two-star attack, two-star melee defense. Not bad. Um, how about Galib Ibn Azid? Yeah, that's not quite it, is it? Also try out Malik the Beggar. Alright, so we hired how many dudes here? Two? Alright, Fury. You know, this is an acceptable bro. 53 uh, health, 2 star, 51 melees, you know, 2 star melee defense with 101 starting fatigue. Not bad. Have a 110 and uh, a 125 and let's give you a hooked blade. Sure, man. Right, how about a Hartwig the Snake? All right, Hartwig rolled real bad. We tried him. Cool face, dude. Appreciate you. Later, Tater.
Yeah, you can see the mods we're using between Exclam Mod or Exclam Mods in chat. I will also verbalize those right now. Oh, hell yeah. 772 for that. Uh, we are using... Hell, I need a reminder now. We're using uh, modding script hooks, which allows you to use multiple mods at once. Settlement situation tooltips. So we get the percentages on uh, the different stuff like this right here. Uh, try out talents. So when we try out a character, we get their uh, trait. And then we also get to see uh, where their stars are. Try out Ingolf here. And then items and recipes, which in your inventory allows you to see which items are, what recipes the items are used for. All right, let's go here. Man. Amphid might end up being the great axe guy. I'm going to take this for health. Got Berserk. Let's give him Killing Frenzy, too. On the next level, we get two perks. Cool. Anywho, that's the bros. Sending goods to Tarwa. Let's talk money real quick. I need some time to think about that, because I'm not going to Tarwa right now. Beast, roaming beast, huh? So, doesn't seem too bad. Check it out. I would generally say uh, hunt down what terrorizes quests are some of the most dangerous, especially in the desert. 28 nachos. 28 nachos. That's 2 8. Okay, let's take these archers out. Let's put these guys in. This guy in. Alright, 28 nachos is the most nachos I've ever seen. I like 8, I think. Mr. Bind, thanks so much for 30 months, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Well, let's uh, let's just head back here and then camp for a moment. A plethora of nachos. All right, guys, before we go any further here, I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Let's see if there's any kitties on cam. There's zero kitties on cam. Maybe one will appear here. I'll see you back in about three minutes to take on 28 nachos, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Maybe take that cart to Tarwa and then walk up to the port again. Find out here soon. Uh, I am not using the double cost one, no, Ren Talon.
All right, here we go. We're back. Your scouts report that he has seen the following. A bajillion nachos. Here we go. Oh my god, we're in the swamp right now? Holy guacamole, dude. Well, there is some advantage to this. If we can create a situation... Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button there. If we can create a situation there that we're fighting on, like, this area, and they're, they're in the water and I'm not. But... I can't do that with everybody. And I only have Pathfinder on maybe half my bros. I also think this is going to be about the best um, the best we're going to get as far as level generation goes. Okay, let's, let's think about this terrain real quick. We also have a spot of water here. That's interesting. I don't believe we can go over here because everything will collapse on the one uh, the one pod. But what we can do here. Oh, this isn't even murky water. OK, so when you hover over the. Uh, the swamp water, it reduces skills. But this shallow water doesn't seem to do anything. It just makes cost more AP to go over. Okay. I learned something. Just means that these guys in the water are going to have a harder time reaching the line. Fair. Yes, when you're on the town, you're on uh, Oasis uh, tier. That's right. Okay, so we got two tier two nachos right here. Click this on real quick. Let's check the health bars real fast as well. All of our bros are pretty tip top, except for Extrusive, which has a little armor damage. Might be initiating over here, in fact. I want to jump in with the shield here and shield block and let them uh, jump me. That's the gist of it. All right, here we go. Let's so we'll step up two. Or step up one, rather. I feel like if I shield wall here, they're going to rotate all the way around. There's so many, I bet they try to jump into it. Why wouldn't they? What's Zealousy doing? I think Zealousy for right now. I'm gonna go here and spear wall as well. And if they all rotate up top, he'll rotate back behind the line. All right. Uh, I'm gonna step here.
here. Okay, he's going to go here. We're just going to populate the line uh, in a straight way. They're going to walk back here. I can step to and attack from here if they actually get in, but I have a real big feeling they're going to try to rotate around the outside. You're good. You're here. How much initiative does he have? Oh, this is the three-star initiative guy. The thief role we got. That's right. Why is he going before everything? He's just that guy. Okay, they broke the shield wall right away. Neat. A little unlucky with the shield wall. Fair enough. Okay, where did he go? He went in the grass here. Hmm. I'm really surprised they're not getting around the outside right now. They may still. Alright, let's hit this tier 2 here. Their numbers may end up being to their disadvantage if we get some good morale rolls here, as we kill a lot of the smaller fellers. Maybe shouldn't adrenaline on that long of a fight. Alright, Amphid's back to nine. Step it and pep it. Hell yeah. Go ahead and adrenaline here. We're cleaning up this side real nice. Alright, I'm gonna wait here, because if I can step up to this spot, I can get at least two. I can stand where casually was stepping. Oh, here we go. Give it the old reap. Okay, they're going to probably consume some of these bodies. Uh, maybe zealousy steps here. Maybe I got a turn left to go here. Turn done. Two turns. I'm going to wait. Okay, three turns acting right now. That's me. So Nachos can consume any corpse to gain a new tier and fully heal. Really don't want a tier two to become a tier three. It seems to be all tier one, tier two. Taking care of uh, two of the three so far. I think I put him here and I put Zealousy here and I step up from there. Yeah, that's the only way to block all of the corpses. There we go. Okay, he's busted. Take a look at the health bars here real quick. Okay. He can still step up and hit here. This is good. Okay, not enough AP. Fair enough.
Ooh, that's tough. You know, I'm gonna roll him back here. Get out of the way, dude. Swing and a miss. Ooh, he got there. Dang. Okay, our priority now has to be the ones that are standing on top of corpses already, because if they get to go again, uh, they're going to do it. Step up. Scary place to be. Let's go ahead and release a buppers here, not in uh, combat, so it's going to go towards a flank. Ooh, that scared him real good. Good job, buppers. All right, these two are busted already. Try to bop this tier two. Nice. Hmm. I'm gonna step here and set up for round swing, dude. Let's go. This guy has crazy initiative. We've got like a five or a six every single level, and we're using dodge, so I went for it. This is our first uh, first try at this one, Chris Chambers. It's also the highest amount of nachos I've ever fought. It seems to be going okay so far. There we go. Good dodges. All right, he consumed. So did he. We've managed to avoid a tier three so far. That's good. Yep. That's true. Let's stand on this corpse. Wow, that, that broke him right away. He did not like that. Uh, both these guys have rotation. I'm gonna wait on his turn and take it later. Good hit. All right, tier two, tier two, tier two, tier two. How many are broken here out of the 18? Currently have four, six, seven broken of 18. Okay. I think I'm gonna release the puppers, man. Let's go right here. Get them, puppers. Get him, puppers. Right, I'm going to step up and reap. Is good. What's Zealous he doing here? Oh, these are probably just going to get away, and that's fine. Let's hit this nice, healthy, confident one. Why is that one confident? Not going to lie, I was real nervous going into this fight. Honestly surprised how well it's going so far.
Yo, Sacra. Thanks so much for 100 months of support. Gonna give you your VIP badge right now. First 100 people to reach 100 months subscribe. There are 100 VIP badges. Always a pleasure when you're here, Sacreal. Nice to see you. Really enjoyed watching your uh, Battle Brothers stream yesterday. Really glad you're enjoying the game. What a legend. Let's hit this uncontained one. Okay, that's a little scary. This Puppers is a damn hero right now. Good. What is this? Hidden. Oh, hiding in the bush. All right. This one in front of me is definitely my priority right now. He's already busted. Let's step up and hit the tier two. Mercy. They're dodging real good. I'm not going to hit a unit that is already fleeing. Not going to do it. Right, let's step and pep it right there. Lots of misses this round. It's all good. All right, can I reap here? No, I don't have the AP. Let's help my puppers out here. Listen, I'm just going to end this guy's turn. Awkward spot for him. Oh, we're definitely over the hump now. Hey, DM Salador, thanks again for that awesome half year in Dark Light. Thanks for 57 months. Thank you all for your generosity today. Pleasure to share this time and place once again. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. Tell me this, chat. What, what, uh, origins do you like? I've done traitors so far and peasant militia to any amount of decent success. Like, I feel like we're definitely going to make our late game crisis this run for sure. I think poacher sounds interesting. I like the idea of moving faster. They're down to three now. I think this guy's going to come back. I think he might. Messed around with Northern Raiders just a little bit, uh, just when I was checking out the game initially. Got a lot of really hard fights on, on Northern Raiders. I think their upside, though, of getting more loot from enemies is pretty, pretty awesome. Get that, Nacho. All right, down to one. Just this guy right here. It doesn't even look like he's broken is he going to be running you know what it's over go tell your friends what happened here today okay we got some more of these so i can do something at the taxidermist now very good all right that was a terrifying quest that uh went really good Well, I'm 20 bros right now. I gotta buy some food. 
Food is expensive right now. I guess on a good note, we've made a fortune at uh, this town. Buy... I'm going to buy this rice. 488. I haven't seen spices sell for that much yet on the map. What's this? We're going to Tarwa. I'm going to leave that one hanging. I'm going to sail over to Hikma right now. Go. Okay, good harvest. So food's still going to be cheaper here than it would normally be. Uh, prices are messed up because of an ambush. Let's see if a quest clears the ambush or not. Wow, a six day. How many crowns, dude? 6,910 crowns. We need to be paid per head we arrive with, dude. Hmm. Maybe. This is a really big caravan how many times are we gonna get attacked on this caravan we'd have to leave with 150 tools for sure maybe even purchase scavenger trying to go here I don't know about that, dude. That's a, that's a really long ways away. I'd rather look for a camp. Drive off nomads at Burning Sands Camp east of Hikma. East of Hikma? Okay, it's going to be like here. Taxidermist. Okay, here we go. I got a lot of materials right now. Wowzy. Serpent skin mantle. Let's go. Five of them? Looks like the lads are getting some upgrades. Holy guacamole. I'll throw a... Serpent skin on the footman's armor? Believe it. 210 here. How about 225 with more initiative? This guy wants initiative. Already has it. So serpent skin here. Okay, that one already has an attachment. This one's just a 130. Where's my 180 right now? I think that's a 150 with the attachment already. Somebody back here has something better than they should. He's got a 150. That is by far the most <laughs> taxidermy stuff I've ever done at once. We had a lot of uh, pelts. And we fought 12 or 13 serpents twice. What does the serpent skin mantle read? From fire in firearms? Does that mean... Crossbows too? That'd be perfect for the nimble bros. Okay, let's see. Tastefully named. Has a level here. Let's just grab that. I'm even gifted. Let's roll. Stats are pretty cool. Definitely going to take a three here. Pick a four fatigue. Three melee defense. Keep it coming. Four for sure. He's looking like a pretty tanky lad right now. I'm just going to... Give him some HP. 
You have the main foot, right? Let's take you out for bow back here. Ride the bench too. Oh, hey, Fury needs to get in here. Let's just do this for right now. I still have stuff I can make. I like the idea of poisoned oil, but it's a matter of when would I actually use poisoned oil. I guess in the arena it could be a good time to do that. Let's make one and think about it. All right, off to fight some nomads. Stop right outside here. One more check of the armor and stuff. Pretty good. 110. Swap that for a new 110. What did I just do? Oh, I hit Windows instead of Alt. Right. Alright, I'm going to save here. I'm just going to reboot my game real quick. Playing for like seven hours now. Oops. There we go. Okay, there we are. Going on here. Mini Nomad Outlaws, a archer, a nomad leader. All right, leader means we can maybe get another like sick 200 armor to put one of these mantles on. Let's see. Who has nets right now? Enough people have nets. You definitely need one. You should be carrying a net, not bandages. Same with this antidote. Let's find another spot for this. Let's give Bobak two bandages and an antidote. He's the medic. All right, Fury, this is your first battle with us. Good luck. All right, do we see the leader yet? We don't. I'm just going to get in here right now. We definitely got a numbers advantage. They got all this cool assortment of wares, though. Dang. Oh, they're jumping in. Right on. Right on. All right. Fury, you're going to draw first blood here. You're going to whiff. You know he's got to be nervous. This is his first battle with the boys. Nice try. Nice try.
Where's this leader at? Gotta be right back here. I'm gonna zoop out this way. Oh, maybe in the reboot of the game, uh, the leader disappeared. That's possible. Bet that's what happened. Get him, puppers. I think I might put my tanks actually back here. I'm thinking about, like, as far as initiating goes. Like, we could step up with the uh, two-handers in the front row and then step the shield guy in front. That's an idea. Oh, no, here he is. Uthman the Pilgrim. Cool sword, bud. Hey, nothing wrong with missing your, your first shot if you're Fury. It's part of being a bro. I doubt many people would hit their first swing in battle. Step up two here. Let's fire at... All right, I guess this is it. They have like a little fortification here. Hmm. This guy waited his turn? What's that about? You're right, that inspired tag was a good uh, good key that there was a leader here. I'm going to wait here and see what they do. Name on this guy. Are they, like, trying to protect the leader? Is that what it is? That's got to be what's happening here. Gonna get over here. Oh man, he threw Santa the Puppers. This is a very evil person. This guy needs to be netted and stabbed. Throwing sand at a dog? What's wrong with you, man? The first thing you do in battle? You throw sand at me, Puppers? I don't think so, buddy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was going to do it anyways, though. Got some sausage fingers today. That's how it be sometimes. Oh, yeah, there's a blockage there. Okay, I see now. Well, does Amphid have a net? Amphid has a long bonker. Amphid, you stand right here with your long bonker. Let's try to bonk us uh, a leader. Let's just start the netting right now while he's stunned. Oh, 
hoppers, you're in the way just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Who do I want standing right here? I think I'm just going to step up one more this way. Let's go around. Ooh. Bold. Axe in eight turns, acting right now. I'm going to wait and probably swap over and hit if I need to. I wonder if this leader is going to have for us. I'm going to step out of the way. Alright, 42 to hit here is not bad. We missed. Thirty-eight, seventeen. Let's just break this guy's shield. Get that out of here, buddy. to get in here. All right, he did. Okay, I can move out to the side now. Nice. Help out my puppers. All right, that means we slide in here. I'm just going to re-equip my shield. He's still stunned. Oh man, stun is just such a brutal effect in this game. Let's step up here and just swap to a dagger. There's just no way through these blockages. What a crazy generation. I'm gonna get out of the way. Actually, I'll hang out here just in case something happens to puppers. Which I certainly hope is not the case. Finally hit that guy, dang. Redemption time? But nope. No, anything that's a blockage at the start of combat is going to remain. You know, I should rotate my puppers out of here is what I should do, so he stops hitting his armor. Can rotate him out next turn if I need to. All right, Fury, here you go. Nice try, bud.
How much does this cost? 25. I have enough to get puppers right here. I'll just wait. He can do it. Oh, I thought he had rotate. Dang. Never mind. This guy's got a lot of HP. How many battle bros does it take to kill one hammer guy, huh? Alright, here we go. The answer is five, by the way. That's how many battle bros it takes to kill one hammer nomad. Yo, Black Knight 70, thanks so much for that tier 2 sub and 101 months of support. Appreciate that very much. Finally. Alright, now we're going to swap Puppers out so there's no more damage. Puppers should not be able to get through here, though it's possible. Get him with that tiny knife. Yeah, Puppers has to go around just like everybody else. Easy rice, man. Please don't. Let's, uh, let's get you out of there with your 105 armor. This guy's resolve has to be immense. He's been netted and surrounded the entire combat. Everybody's dying. He hasn't flinched even a smidge. I get through nine lives as well. Damn. Okay, he broke the net. You know, probably gonna re-net this guy. What's a net cost? Like sixty. All right, let that go. He does not have a net. Basically, the name does have a net, but no quick hands. No quick hands. Okay. Zealousy has a net. No. Okay. Stop from attacking once at least. All right, we got him. What did he drop, if anything? Okay. He dropped a leather neck guard. Is this for armor or helmets? All right, bit of a bust on the drops here. He dropped this thing, the 45 to 50 one-handed sword. It's not a not a bad item.
all in all, a good fight. All right, 35 already? This guy's a beast. Go for resolve here, get him to 48. Well, hold on. I need that fatigue. Need this. I'm going to take the HP too. Underdog cannot be wrong here. Tank's going to be surrounded more consistently than other units. Okay, did anybody really take uh, a big hurt in there? Somebody had their armor kind of messed up, right? My thought is I can just check down here right now. Got plenty of food. We got some tools. We can go explore the emptiness. Maybe find a location. Get some money from the cartographer. Or not. Some nomad cutthroats, a nomad outlaw. Okay. That's some business. Hey, glad you're enjoying it, Remy. Thank you. It's basically thanks for 57 months. Been a good day for me. Thanks for tuning in. Been really enjoying this peasant militia uh, run. Curious to see the Greenskin Invasion in-game uh, crisis. Haven't done that one yet. I think I'll probably do Undead Scourge after that. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. We got to kill these nomads first. You're going to hit one of these days, Fury. I believe in you. I believe in you. Zero for three so far. Not that we're counting. I'm going to try moving the position of my tanks here as well. After this fight. Let's go up here. The peasant militia's greatest strength is that they can take 16 units into combat. But I think there's also a weakness to that as you often feel like you're uh, kind of climbing over yourself to hit stuff. Quick hands has been uh, very good for relieving that a bit. It's just not a good day to be a nomad right now. Didn't mean to intern there, but I did it. I do have two range guys right now, but we are limited on the um, backgrounds that we can get for ranged. Only Poacher and Shepherd for the Peasant Militia. And while range units are nice, they do, uh, they can't hit your units too if they're, they're blocked. So that's also tricky. The range is a very important part of any composition. Yo, you did it, Fury. Nice job. Welcome to the team. It drew a little blood. My man is busted. What's this? Paint set? Okay, probably selling that. Alright, any other cool stuff over here? Oh, there's like a little island. Okay, it's a little bit sidetracked, but... Checking it out. We're here. Very interesting configuration. Okay, back to Hikma we go. What is our retinue right now? We're glorious at the moment. 2782. We've really been stuck on this trade good. 
achievement for quite a while. Like, oh, I'm going to go down south and clean up all the trade goods, but it was consistently ambushed trade routes. Okay, we got the trade routes unambushed. Beautiful. Going to buy the silk. Going to buy this. All right, 252 for tools is a great price. I'm going to buy three. I'm going to buy two nets. Our shield is at 19 right now. That's not bad at all. wait to sell those till we get another ambush. Alright, taxidermist. What is this? Lionheart potion. Okay. Plus 20 resolve. Interesting. For one battle only, of course. What's the armor got? That is expensive. Okay, what's this three star here? Oh, right, right. I'm going to decline that contract. If it was a straight delivery mission, I'd be all about it. But it's not. 38 for rice. Sign me up. 45 for fish. Oh, we can turn a profit on this food right now. Check out the bros. Let's just do some tryouts here. Great, uh, great traits, but bad stars. Okay, no. For 360. Okay, let's check you out. Gluttonous and cocky. Huh? I'm good, dude. I'm good. All right, not even close on Hakan. That'll happen. I'm gonna sail back to Azim Shab. We're gonna give this one the old reversi. All right, there's no ambush trade routes now. 579? No. How much did I just buy those spices for? Too much is the answer. 430. Can barely turn a profit. Doesn't really matter though, because I need the. Um, you need to go 25% more because of the quest here. Let's go ahead and take this contract to travel to Tarwa. Check the armor. Good looking stuff. 57,000. Never going to have that. Maybe Tarwa will be in a drought and we're going to cash out big on this food, huh? Here we go. Serpents. Okay, more serpents. Welp. These guys will get in there for us, I think. There's some good lads. Southern caravan hands are very aggressive, generally. Though it looks like snakes might be the exception to that. Yikes. All right, I'm going to go here. We're we're initiating right now. We're getting in there. Okay, they don't like snakes. That's fair. It's fair.
I'm gonna go out here. Okay, it's pretty dangerous then. Cleaverman, get in there. We're going down here, dude. Yep. 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 It's about to get spicy. Can I hit anything from here? 15% chance. Okay. Well, let's step up then. 21. Hey, nice shot, dude. I'm going to go to the outside on this one. All right, Fury, you go on the inside here. Good hit. Can I release puppers? I can't. There's nowhere to do it. I'm gonna wait. I can possibly round swing again next turn if uh, it goes well. Good hit. Okay, now the pain starts. Um, let's hit the inside here. I say somebody's got to get pulled back, right? Man. Oh, you guys coming to help now? That's nice. Right, let's check the health bars here real quick. It'd be ideal if this one died. I gotta believe the tanks are gonna finish that one off. Oh, is he going two turns? Never mind. Had to try. Might be swapping him out. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Wowzy. think he goes over here? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, still hurts. Nice. I'm gonna release a dog here. Uh, I'm gonna go here and try to push him off. Very good. Yeah, the fair pull. Fair pull there. Okay, so now he can't hit from there. That's tough. You know, let's just get back here. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, that's tough. Nobody liked that.
Good dodges, boys. Way to smile through that there. Oh, now he's getting in here. I see. I see how it is. Should have hit this guy, but I didn't. Oh yeah, that hurts. Doing great, dude. Elusive wants to live, you can just tell. Oh, I should have rotated myself. I can still rotate with this guy, but... Mistakes were made. Good. I mean, now I can puppers, or I can just hit. All right, casually, are you still bleeding? Yes, just gotta wait here. Really hope my um, Sword Lance dude doesn't die because I didn't rotate him. Time will tell. He should be fine. Max in seven turns, 12 turns, one turn. Okay, he's gonna save him. Good. Would have reversed the order there, would have had a better chance to hit the snake. Yeah, the snakes definitely aren't a joke, casually. They are tough in this game. I think snakes, more than anything, are kind of a damage check. If you don't got it to kill them relatively quickly, you're in trouble. This encounter went better than the last one by a fair bit. Hopefully we don't get attacked by something else on the way over on this short road, though. It definitely could happen. You know what, Casually? You're not going to go fight the snake. You're just going to finish bleeding there, bud. Okay, we got a graze neck. That's fine. Man, we can make uh, serpent mantles for days if we get some nacho teeth. Okay, let me go ahead and swap some lads here. Uh, you need a break. Go ahead and just toss you in here. You need a break. We got level up to do here. Okay, so rain. I'm going to level up to level 10. Nice work. Okay, 70 attack at uh, level 10. You know, not the best. Best roll ever, but they're all right. Maybe be going to become a, a backliner eventually. 70's capable. Here. And... Take some initiative. It could be like backup medic. Could see that. Already have the quick hands for it. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab the bags and belts right now. I think I'll give them a two-hander let's give let's give oh knows who has 24 melee defense this thing both of these in fact
All right, Sergeant here, what are you getting? Man, 32 melee defense on this guy. This kind of came out of nowhere. We're putting all those points in morale. Still pretty darn good. Um... Let's go ahead and go for quick hands here. All right, Fury gets a new name, and that name is... Sacro. The student. Some good rolls here. I'll take the fatigue. Wow, Lulupi started today's stream at level one. First, first bro we hired. I'll take the two there. It's not bad. Three fatigue. Okay. I'm gonna grab rotate. I'm going to take the fatigue here for sure. Let's take this natural four on the resolve two. Okay, not convinced you're going to need quick hands. Let's go for rotate though. I've been having a good success with this. Anything that allows me to shuffle bros around is very nice on 16 people. All right, casually challenged continues to get very good rolls here. Wowzy. I'll decide on casualties perk after they're healed. Okay. How about you just hand over your valuables then? Attack. Okay, we got a signet ring, crowns, dagger, bludgeon. And we got some injuries. Probably not worth it. Wasn't worth it last time I did that one either. I just wanted to see it again. And say surely six nomads would not attack this unless group of refugees okay the green skins are attacking okay our uh invasion is starting All right, made it to Tarwa. Very good. Eight nomads. Come on now. Tarwa is now well supplied. And no ambush here. All right, let's check out this market, dude. 343 here. Hell yeah. Oh, look, I have no inventory space. I bet I have a bunch of stuff I should have marked for repair on the way over. Not too bad, just a few things. You know what I'm going to buy right now? I'm going to go to my retinue. I'm going to purchase another cart for my wagon. Yes, I do want 27 more inventory spaces. Thank you. Expensive, but very good. Okay, I can sell one of these. That. 
I'm gonna sell these signet rings and the rainbow scales. Could definitely get a better price for those, but I'm just looking at inventory space right now. It's pretty intense. Can do better than that. Okay, food's pretty cheap here. I bet if we go from here up to Grafenhaven, we can turn a pretty big profit on some food here in a moment. You think of your entire inventory as a, a tradable resource, more inventory space starts making more and more sense. All right, you're fine for now. Got a torn shoulder. Less damage inflicted. I can live with it. What's your injury? One action point per tile move. That's pretty rough for him. Just toss in another pike here. Actually, let's do this thing I was talking about. We'll put the two-handers up front, and we'll put the tanks in the back. Like this. Banner can stay back here, too. But this way, if the enemy initiates into one tile, I can step in and hit with all the two-handers, and then jump the tank in front of the two-handers. some pretty big armors here I probably want to replace. Let's go here. We'll give him the 215. Yeah, Extrusive can handle that. In fact, Extrusive can handle a different weapon if they wanted to. Okay, any quest here in Tarwa there is, there's Mirage Sightings. Nope. Uh, nope, not going to chase a Freets for 2,000. Not right now. Already fought some of those today, it was terrifying. In the arena, two gladiators. I'm good right now. All right, all these injuries are pretty minor. They'll clear up on their own. Check out the bros. Try them out. No range stars, it's tough. Let's buy Hussein and Malad. Good guys. Okay, that's not it. That's not it either. So we're just fishing for some good stars and decent starting stats to supplement our bros. All right, from Tarwa, where do we want to go? I have a decent amount to repair. Let's go to Felsberg, then to Grafenhaven, and then we'll kind of run our loop again for Amber and see if we can get something going. We see any nomads on the way, we can crush them. Hey, Exo Frog, and thanks for 42 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. I wonder if we can get noble contracts now for the uh, the thing. Apparently not. Okay, uh, do I want to rest all the way to dawn to get tools here? Honestly, no.
406 G's. Okay, at least stuff's selling well here. I'm gonna sell all this stuff so we can complete our ambition. Also free up the inventory space. Could have maybe got slightly better prices on a few things, but not bad. Just all the rations here. We can deal with rice and cheese and fish for a minute. Oh yeah, let's sell these brains. Not bad. Warehouse burn is selling items for 25% more. Cool. Okay, what's it worth to you? 530 to follow tracks. I accept. Okay, we got new renown there. What's our renown actually at? Glorious 2928. Our last retinue slot opens at 3350. Nine little thieves. How you guys doing? Alright, gonna let him step up to us here. Mm. They're doing it. Okay, so they're saying they outrange us, is what they're saying. Okay. I don't exactly agree, but here we are. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to step up around this guy, and then I'm going to step in with the shield in front of him. That's the plan. That's a very dangerous spot for a new guy. Let's go here. This looks good. Here we go. Let's keep our options open with Amphid here. make the initial setup a lot easier having the guy set up like that. 35. That's right. Wow, they got a lot of archers for nine guys. He's probably going to step out now. Swap to military pick. That's pretty rude. That's my armor. I'd like to keep it. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Sacro's first kill. Looking good. Oh, he's broken already. That's tough. We were just getting started. Oh, that busted him. Okay, these two guys broke too. I'm just going to actually get in here right now. Step in between them.
good hit. It's a cool looking helmet. Oh, he's still firing. Just run, man. Just run. There we go. Broken now. Pretty straightforward fight here. 19 on 6. Not exactly fair, huh? Sorry to tell you, Raiders, I'm just here for the reputation. Doing good, Wiz. Thanks for asking. Hope you're having a nice one, too. Oh, this guy's still alive? Forgot about you, buddy. I thought you ran. That's right, I just told you to, and then you didn't. Got him. Bop him down. All right, back to Graffin Hoven. Tarwa, huh? How many? I'm going to consider this. I might make it back in time to take it and then walk it down. Can also just sail back to the uh, southern states right now, but it's very unlikely there's been enough time passed to, to clear up what we need. 22 shield here, man. I'm going to use this 45 to 50 one-handed sword. Maybe. It's a pretty good weapon. Okay, I definitely don't need three of these. I'm gonna buy a heavy crossbow when I get around to doing that. Okay, I got 132 food right now. Food's just expensive here. Everything's expensive because the warehouse burned down. Fair enough. Ooh, what's up, Adelbert? Let's try you out. He's tough. Let's see what his starting stats are.
You know, not bad, Adalbert, just not not quite good enough. Probably shouldn't have hired him. What's up, Dietrich? What do you got? Nope. Let's travel up to... Blankum. What's this? There's no tool. Oh, this is the collector event. Interesting, there's no tooltip right there. But I think this is the one where they buy. It is where they will buy uh, parts for a higher price. I am very tempted just to clear up some inventory and sell off some things. Firepot, Lionheart Potion. Maybe these. Potions do sound pretty good, but when am I going to make them? I'll just buy some medical supplies. I'm going to buy a tool as well. I'm going to buy two bandages and go to who has the extra room now. I got it on somebody. <laughs> okay, you're all set to be a medic. The banner? No, it was it was rain. Very good. Set some repairs here. Check these quests before we buy that. Strange dreams. We could take a look into that. 1500 is not bad for fighting some Alps. Goldhoff, two days north. Hold on. Where is that? Here. Doesn't really look like two days, but I bet it's close. From Wasser Coog. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for today's show. Thanks so much for the great time, wonderful company, and awesome conversation. Let's review what we did today. Uh, we ran this loop a bunch of times. We cleared out this big section of map, which is unseen. We saw back here and here a little bit. We cleared this out. Uh, we got this entire peninsula. We fought Afrits for the first time. I think we fought Alp Alps for the first time. Did a lot of quests and fights. Not very much trading, but it was a pretty profitable day. Uh, we also bought more inventory space, a couple pieces of armor. It's definitely a run. Let's grab Casualty's uh, perk here before we go. 68 attack, huh? Thirty melee defense is so good. Over overwhelm. No reach advantage. Well, alright everyone, thank you so much once again. As a reminder here, I'm gonna run three minutes worth of ads on the way out. The only ads I play for my entire broadcast. Let those play. Thanks so much. If not, thank you again for the time you chose to spend here. Had a great one. Uh we'll do it again soon. Discord for updates as always. Appreciate you all very much. Hey, before I head on out here, let me get caught up again. Alpha Jager, thanks so much for 25 months. Feldspar, 56. Double thumbs. Thanks for that $25 donation. We'll get you added to that name and game right now. Uh, Vecca Rumble, thanks for two months. Weekiality, almost 70. And Hexofrog, and thanks for 42. Uh, thank you all for another amazing stream. Much appreciation.